Alrighty, we are recording now for YouTube. This is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Um, I was uh, I was asked how deep I am into this game. The answer is I am in Lair. I went to Lair One. I uh, cleared Lair One. I found a uh, volcano. I went in. I got hit. Uh, I got I got hit by uh, flame. And I decided that, um, <laughs> love where you'd stuff to hold your tongue because, uh, because Twitch's terms of service is even more draconian than YouTube's. Anyway, um, I got hit by a flame. I decided that I was going to go for my usual thing and, uh, see, uh, discretion as the better part of valor. And I left. Uh, I was getting a little bit, uh, too big for my britches, as they say, because I have these extra lives. But, um, you know, it's, uh. It's just, it is, it is what it is, man. I, I just got a little bit too wild. Um, under normal circumstances, while streaming a streak, I would have just like walked into the, I would have walked into the volcano, saw that there was no handy, easy loot available, and just bailed immediately. Because we don't, we don't have much HP. We don't have enough. We don't have any res uh, resist fire. Nothing at all. Um, uh, kick with a C. Kick with kick without the C is like some kind of chat thing. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm still considering that. Um, it would be nice to actually be able to speak my mind. You know what I mean? There, I have to hold my tongue so much on this platform. Um, it would mean that I couldn't really publish to YouTube anymore, though, as well. But um, I'm surprised you can play a caster with zero conjurations. Well, we may, we may go to, we may get conjurations at some point. Bear in mind, we're using air magic, and so we're using, we are using some attack spells. We got that airstrike, we got shock. I could be getting some conjurations to level up shock, I just haven't bothered, is all. Um, no real reason, it's level 1, you know. Um, we are using airstrike to get a little bit of direct damage, but for the most part we've just been we've just been cheesing with lightning spire. Um, Fugue of the... Whoa, what the hell is that? I didn't see this last time. Fugue of the Fallen. Uh, each non-summoned enemy, the caster, or their ally slays... Okay, so Song of Slang. M more vengeful souls into the caster's weapon. Okay, this is literally just... This is just Song of Slang. Uh, and you get pain damage when it maxes out. So it's Song of Slang plus plus. What? May attract unwanted attention, so what does it summon? Why can't they just say what the spells d spell does in the description instead of all this fluff? Does that, does that mean it summons guys to attack you once in a while, or does it mean that it just makes a bunch of noise? I assume it's noise. This looks like it's just refluffed Song of Slang. They've refluffed this spell like four times now. <laughs> it was pretty good when it was Wereblood. I think for a while there it gave you regen, which was nice. Uh, teleport Other might be worth picking up. Um, oh yeah, we were going to go for Cactus Giant. Yeah, I was told that was quite good. Fugue. It's a fun word. Is it pronounced Fuge? I think it's Fugue. It means uh, like a like a tired kind of daze, right? Um, is anguish new? Isn't that just the half half HP thing? Uh, causing all, oh no, this is new. Uh, afflicts nearby enemies with supernatural anguish, causing all damage they deal to rebound. Uh, pain mirror. It's pain mirror, but it's AOE pain mirror. Um, but it's subject to m magic. It's subject to magic resist, and mindless are not affected, so I don't think it's worth doing. Um, are you sure about that? Is that one of the other... the other meanings? I'm googling, hold on. Uh, psychiatry, a state or period of loss of awareness of one's identity. Wow, I was way off. Uh, oh, yeah, like a fugue state. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Often coupled with... I don't know why I thought it... You're just... Oh, it just means you're tired. No, um, often coupled with flight from one's usual environment, associated with certain items of hysteria and epilepsy. However, you're also right as a music term as well. Uh, contrapuntal composition in which a short melody or phrase, the subject, is introduced by one part and successfully taken up by others, uh, just as you said. Okay, so we were... Well, I was all kinds of wrong, but I was right that it was a psych term as well. Um, yeah, no, a, fu a fugue state. Um, yeah, where you you don't know who you are. Um, 
Cactar is mad unless you can get dudes to hit it. Yeah, people were saying it was great. I, I'm, I'm withholding my judgment until I use it. Um, I really am just going to have to see it in action. Anyway, uh, anyway, let's, let's get on out of here. Um, let's, we'll just airstrike a bit. Uh, we'll pop up our lightning spire. Yeah, elephants. I was concerned that we were going to see some elephants soon, and it looks like here we are. Airstrike is doing some good damage for us. I need uh, some kind of AoE would be nice. I am, uh, odd, oddly enough, kind of tempted to pick up Flame Wave. If we could get the Cactus Giant online, I don't know. Oh, Dragon Summon is like level level 8 or something like that. Um, how do I... I don't remember how to describe... You know what, we're just going to look up the spell. It's available, but... Uh, yeah, Dragon Dragon's Call is uh, level 9, yeah. Flame Wave is new. Um, I think it's just completely ripped off from... Uh, from Rift Wizard, which is completely completely ripped off from uh, Diablo 2. <laughs> um, you just kind of stand there and it just blows flame waves out of you. Um, it's alright. We're not going to be able to kill any of these yaks, so let's, let's uh, not, with, not with so many, let's just rest up and do a little stair dancing. Searing Ray, but AoE. Yeah, there you go. Is that an option I'm considering? Uh, am I considering Dragon Summon? Yeah, we might. Um, oh, Serpent Talisman. I wonder what form that gives me. I guess we get to explore the um, shape, shape Naga form. I don't think we're going to be going... Are you joking? Is that, Are you serious? It's not like a snake form. You actually become a Naga. So you get, so you get slow movement. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with a no. I think the Shark Tank is gonna have to uh, pass on that one. Oh, it's Anaconda. Uh, the elephant made short work of that spire, and we are out of mana. Okay, the dog doesn't want to play nice, that's okay. Um, I am playing a cat. Let's see what's behind door number three. Um, mm, another charm wand, that's cool. I should probably be getting some evocations, like more of it soon. Um, let's get fighting only to eight. It's about time that I focus up on getting more spells, um, because we are having trouble killing things. And what's the cardinal rule? that I always say when I stream this game. Main priority is being able to defeat enemies. Once you can do that reasonably well, main priority shifts and becomes defense. Well, we're having trouble defeating certain enemies, so... Well, we're a cat, so chances are good it makes perfect sense for us to be in that form, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm assuming maybe you don't get any item slots, but we'll see. Yeah, airstrike just like just wrecks, just wrecks our mana really, really quickly. I'll use a little bit of flame. Oh, come on, come on, come on, man! There we go. I was about to say like the elephant should should have died sooner, but that's all right. Um, it pretty much is Centolio, but the thing is, I was getting I was getting air anyway for the sake of, um, for the, for the sake of Lightning Spire. Well, uh, let me tell you what, uh, Love Worm, I am simply a mouth from Pokemon. How about that? 
you know, we could get Cactus Giant online pretty damn fast if I wanted to, and I, I feel like that would just resolve all of our problems. Um, of course, we may want to get some damn shapeshifting soon. Um, I just realized I went to the trouble of getting some unarmed combat. We can, we can, we can do a little bit of fighting. You know, look at that. I'm scratching. I'm doing some damage. It's not, it's not terrible. I'm attacking at point nine now. Can't complain. I'm just, I'm not gonna fight huge crowds. We're not there yet. Maybe, maybe an anaconda form. <laughs> Oh, of course. Really, it's just, it's all about cheesing the, um, the lightning spire at this point. Have I gotten chunked by a mamba yet? I haven't died at all yet. No, we're doing, uh, we're doing just fine. You'll notice that my EV is pretty good, so, I mean, it's not like I can't die or anything, but... You know, I'm doing okay. However, I'm getting chunked by this elephant right now. Um, let's keep three mana for swiftness. Uh, let's just... Let's see. How much damage can you do to me? 25 per turn. 25 per turn. Very unlikely to do all that. Uh-oh. Um, yep. It is... Uh, the swiftness of... The swiftness of the kitty will be still talked about today. Look at this lame. This is lame. Look at this. Look how lame this is. The elephant attacks as it pursues you. Brother, I'm faster than him, so why did that happen? I guess it's probably because I... I moved around him. I suppose. So wait a minute. He... The elephant closely misses you. You block the elephant's attack. The elephant attacks as it pursues you. That is so lame. So attacks of opportunity can happen when you move around something in addition to their regular attack why would they uh, why would they do that if they want the game to be all about positioning that is baffling we could have died right there uh wow that is really dumb um especially with the fact that i'm faster than him so does that mean if i step away well i don't know mm. Very strange. Uh, well, we just saw it in action with this enemy. Um, but yeah, well, D and D rules fine, but uh, this is this is a game that is not designed to be D and D. Uh, does the elephant get more than one attack? He gets two, but that we just saw him get four. Did we not? He gets a trample and a trunk. That's true. Yeah. Um, or you get a five-foot step and a full attack. Anyway, it's fine. I just, I just have to I have to put that into my brain, I guess, that moving adjacent to an enemy to a spot that's still adjacent to him just gives you a double hit, like a double whatever they can do. I mean, that's super lame, though. My god, that changes the whole game. And not in a good way. Battle Brothers rules. <laughs> yeah. What if you move towards an enemy? I don't think that would trigger it, but, you know, who who knows? Who knows? Okay, we'll put the cactus giant on the big old G. Does does the cactus giant have a taunt at least? I'm guessing it doesn't. Go to quadruple attacks of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, they got my account listed there. They're like, let's, let's get him. Okay, we're gonna take summons all the way to 15. Let's see, is the Cactus Giant totally immobile? I 
can you can you can sustain one of them. Uh, huh. Doesn't look like they're mobile, so probably it would be situations like this where we just like engineer a situation, you know. Alright, buddy. Swapped. Oh, hello, Mr. Lightning Guy. <laughs> you guys have done a bit of damage to me. I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just bail. Bit, bit dangerous. They tried to stop me from stair dancing, so I just got better at stair dancing. Torpor Snail, I think we'll just airstrike him to death. Um, we'll th let the Spire deal with him. Let's, let's bail on this. Hey Elf, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I like that that got censored. Uh, I don't know what exactly censored that, and in the context of the way you use that word, it should not have been censored, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, you got uh, dabbed on. Well, it said it in the chat, but it it looks like the maybe stream alerts or whatever, whatever, stream labs, whatever I'm using, um, seems to have... Uh, okay, three emulation. Seems to have uh, put a stop to your joke. No, no laughing aloud. No, yeah, well, it took away the text-to-speech because it does that if... And these, these are just the default settings. In fact, I don't even know if I can change that. Might be bypassing some of the filter. Ah, yeah, maybe. Attack is drying at 22%. I mean, we're getting there. weird. <laughs> I'll be honest, I am somewhat curious about um, how the uh, first of all, how the giant works, and second of all, how that how the new shape shifting works. Let's take a look at our cactus giant. I cast a 22% fail because I'm a madman. Green-skinned, spiny colossus with a hearty barrel chest and a thirst for battle. Any foe that strikes it will be lucky to live to regret it. So he hits for 32, so that's not terrible for, for Lair, just with his basic attack. Um, yak gores your cactus plant. Yak gores your cerulean imp. The yak is struck by your cactus giant spines. Okay. Uh, okie dokie. Seems, seems good. I bet these things absolutely annihilate, uh, Hydra's minus dog. Um, <laughs> it's the funniest status effect. So the way it works, and this is something I was actually praising last time, uh, call canine familiar has been changed. So now you get this, uh, this, uh, sort of spirit dog with what I assume is a Japanese name, Inugami. Um, and if it, Okay, so what you can do is if you cast the spell again, you can heal the dog and also make it attack faster for that turn and cleave. Um, if it dies, you get the minus dog effect and you cannot uh, summon it again for a while. That's only if it dies, not if it disappears from uh, from from uh, from just time running out. So I like how it kind of encourages you to keep the dog alive. I would, uh... I very rarely encourage forks to take content from mainline these days, but I would probably say that one's good. Serpent Talisman. Um, a jade snake coiled around a Nagaraja's name day. Oh my god, I don't care. 
uh, transform the user into a giant cold blooded poison resistant serpent. So this is just snake form, maybe souped up, uh, ready to wind their coils around foes. So you get constrict attack, increases the armor provided by the snake scales, uh, while transformed, any equipped weapons and armor. There's probably no reason for me not to use this except it will reduce my max HP. Um, I become large size, which is fine. I get plus, wow, plus 15 AC at max skill. It's, it, it, birthday is what they mean. Yeah, I don't know, these guys are, George R. R. Martin also used that. The people who write things for DCSS are complete and total hacks. Um, it will reduce my max HP by 88%. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, so obviously we don't want to do that. Our shapeshifting is negative two. Shapeshifting apt seems to be really bad for everybody across the board. Like negative one is the highest I've seen. Um, see, that's, what an odd thing to do. Why not just make it unusable? In fact, how about this? This is kind of a crazy idea, but what if we made it into like a spell school that was kind of uh, themed around shapeshifting? We could call it something like um, transmutations and then you just wouldn't be able to cast a spell if you didn't have enough um, spell skill, you know, like uh, in that school. I know it's a crazy idea, but we could possibly. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Okay, so you don't wear the talismans, you just evoke them, I guess, and, I don't know, keep them in your inventory. I'm sticking with my cactus plan. We're getting that to 15. Well, yeah, but forks have already solved it in the in the way of like I like how Beacrawl does it, where it just reduces your max MP for a while. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's the theory that they that they wanted to that they wanted to they saw me winning with statue form and they were like, no. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like. It's, it's, it's hard to say what motivates these people. Hatred of me is probably only part of it. I'm, I'm, a not, I'm not narcissistic enough to assume that literally all of their bad decisions are because of me. I'm just op I'm open to the I'm open to the idea. Yeah, I mean it's I'll tell you why I don't like it, Peebler. Um, it, it's because like it removes like most of the changes that the devs make that I don't like. Um, It, it removes tactical um, choices because back in the day what I would do is I would have stat form and then I would very quickly swap to dragon form if a situation arose where um, where, where where you didn't want to be slow but now you can't do that right if I'm if I'm understanding correctly um, the, the problem is that uh, what will happen is like it takes what five turns to change forms or whatever so um, Ouch. Okay, I'm slow now. I don't know exactly how slow. I am... Wow, look at that. He got a... Um... Yeah, I'm, I did it again. He attacked me, and then he attacked me again. I gotta stop doing that. That is crazy. Um... That is crazy that that works that way. In fact, I suspect that's a bug, because they're not supposed to be able to get attacks of opportunity when you're faster than them, but it seems like if you're still next to them, you're just moving kind of adjacent, they get it anyway. And I, I am, I think, faster than the... Well, not anymore because I'm frozen, but... Um, with swiftness, I think I am faster than this thing right now, so... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of what's going on right now. Um, let's pop a heal wounds. Okay, that's better. Um... I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring out the spire, bring out the imp. Yeah, swift. I mean, in that case, like swiftness is uh, not even as good as it used to be because you often have to. Uh, well, you don't have to, but it's often really useful to kind of go sideways against an enemy. For example, like because this fungus was here, I almost had to sort of go diagonal and end up next to him while while still next to him in order to make my great escape. Right. So now. Think about how many attacks you're taking. You cast the swiftness, you get an attack. You move sideways if you're in kind of a bad position, you get another attack. Then, because of attacks of opportunity, you get another attack. 
so you're eating three sets of attacks, um, potentially, to escape the, the situation. Whereas summons, you cast once. If you even have to cast, maybe you already have a guy next to you. Um, set, up, set it up in advance if you like. Uh, so that's one set of attacks. And then you swap locations with your boy, and that, that's it. You don't take an attack. So what an amazing buff to summons. Like, not, not a school that needed buffed, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Uh, nutty, nutty choices um, from these crawl devs. Uh, I am going to not cast giant because that's a little risky right now. We're going to bring out our guys. We're going to swap. And look at that. Two sets of attacks for opportunity just, just uh, bypass. Like, it's very strange to me that they seem to want to... Um, they, like, really want to make people use summons for some reason. Like, I'm outside of a actual Tron character, I'm, I'm struggling to imagine the situation where I would not want to use summons at this point. Like, why, why would you, why would you, why would you deny yourself avoiding this brand new horrible mechanic? <laughs> that isn't new? Well, no, you're, you're right. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, um... It, it's it's exacerbated, is what I'm trying to say. 26 damage, 26 damage. You can't one-shot me. Okay, you, you want them, but, like, you didn't... You didn't feel this overwhelming need to like, pick up, you know... Uh, summon Small Mammal or something in the mid-game or whatever. If you found it in the early game, yeah, of course, you know, if it's, if it's remotely possible, you go for it, but... Um, Low HP is really, really burning my ass here. Essentially, like someone's, you're right. They were, they were always overpowered, but uh, they, they were something that. I mean, they went in the exact opposite direction. They removed what? Summon Butterfly? I think there's a scroll that does it now. Alright, have fun, Buckaroo. Your thick fur grows shaggy and warm. We have RC now. That is a salamander. Hi, buddy. No weapon on that salamander. Uh, I would say yeah. I mean, I specifically got a cat without long fur because I didn't want to deal with her shedding all over the place, but it's, it's pretty warm. It's very beautiful. She's uh, smoky in color. So if you were to, like, lift up her fur a little bit, you would see that it's a different color underneath. Strike is doing work, baby. So they they do seem to want to uh, attack the cactus giant. Like they haven't fooled around with the AI of the you know the enemies. Like they will sometimes stop and attack your boy. Um, Or sometimes they'll just do this. So you have to do a little dancing. Um, okay, we'll swiftness. Normally he travels faster than me, but not now, right? Yeah, I'm still I'm a little bit faster.
Hey, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Airstrike would one-shot that, so I decided to go to a staircase to be sure. Well, no, a Centillo, of course not. You know why? Because reciprocity is a word that's not in these people's vocabulary. Uh, and it's it's just... Like, on one hand, I get it. Like, you don't want to buff summons even more. But on the other hand, they don't seem to care about that anyway. So it's just like... I don't know. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just make summons the only school of magic in the game, yeah? <laughs> okay, Cactus Giant uh, is doing pretty well for me here. Buffed by the power of Zot. <laughs> Okay, they haven't changed Hydras, they're still speed 10. Oh, the Cactus Giant actually has a spiked club, that's cute. Okay, okay, this is bullshit. Wow, they did change it. It doesn't matter if you're faster than the enemy at all. You just straight up, you just straight up take attacks of opportunity no matter what. Wild. It was bad before, it's worse now. That's incredible. So it doesn't matter if you're going backwards either. Did you see? I mean, I could have died there. I didn't care because I have the extra lives, but... Um, I had the swiftness stuff. I'm speed points. I'm going 0.7. He's going 1.0. I go backwards. I take two sets of attacks of opportunity. And it seems to be really consistent now, too. Like, check it out. The six-headed Hydra attacks as it pursues you. The six-headed Hydra attacks as it pursues you both times. Uh, but no, when you swap with a summon, never. Never. What an incredible buff. These people have their heads just lodged directly up their assholes. It's incredible. Sorry to be, you know, crude or whatever, but like, I don't know how, I don't know the night, I mean, I don't know the nice way to put it. It's just incredible. Oh, I'm done with being swift. Uh, that lasted not as long as I thought, because I was, hmm. I'm just going to fear. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to, Should I read Telly, or should I just duke it out? You only get AOO'd if the monster AI would choose to follow it, but it pretty much always does, you know. What what else could it possibly choose to do, you know, unless it's a caster? At which point you're not real concerned, usually, about attacks of opportunity anyway. Well, I mean, what whatever. My, my point is that... Uh, like, uh, what, whatever the reason may be, well, sure, yeah, but I mean, is that an oversight or is it intended? Like, they, they, if they spent half a second thinking about it, they would have seen the, the net, you know, the uh, net effect on uh, incentives for this game, you know. Um, it's just weird, like... And I'm, I'm super glad I'm playing a Felid, actually, because, like, y that easily could have been a splat on any character, and with this one, if it had gone south, you know, I'm able to kind of test things a little bit on a streak game due to my extra lives. I, I do know about the polearm thing. That's even more brutal. People have been saying DCSS is dead for years. I think it's been a long, slow decline, but the attacks of opportunity thing is, like, truly the, you know, I think that's the real moment when you can say, all right, this is not the same game, you know? This is just not the same game. Uh, why did they change this tile? Hmm. It's the exact same enemy. Yeah, I will, they, the thing is, like, they've made some changes to it, but it seems like they just keep making it even worse, you know? And nobody wants to play with it. Everybody is, is tolerating it. The only people that I've seen speaking in, in the favor of, of the change are people who I've long suspected to be, like, alts of the devs themselves on, uh, on, the, on the subreddit, you know? Yeah, I mean, the political stuff is just, like, it's obnoxious. 
I find that easier to ignore than when they start screwing with very important mechanics of the game in ways that make it really obvious they just don't know what the hell they're doing. But, um, like, the political stuff is just like, they can't help themselves, you know? It's like a, it's like an imperative for them in their brains, in their, in their twisted brains. They have to, they have to do that, you know? But they could at least leave the game itself alone. <laughs> Fair point. Well, I think you're right that incompetence sort of goes hand in hand with that kind of, uh, I guess you could call it virtue signaling, sort of political signaling type type stuff. Um, anyway, uh, so we have Swamp and Snake. Which, uh, which potions... I mean, I've been calling for them to make an MR uh, Magic Resistance Plus potion for years and years, and I remember they uh, they yelled at me about it and said it was a bad idea, and lo and behold, here we are. So, yeah, no, that's a good change. If only someone could have told them to add that five years ago. Yes. Well, they just tacked it onto Potion of Flying, which is good, because Potion of Flying was a... Uh, it was useful in some situations, but it was it was of marginal use, like 99.99% of the time. <laughs> what, because they implemented it? No. You ever heard the phrase, a stop clock is right twice a day? Um, Peebler, I, 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 am, I am okay with the Sea Invisible change there. I don't like the name change. I, I mean, whatever, it's fine. I'm less enthusiastic about that one. It's it's not like a bad chain. I'm I'm kind of new neutral to it. The the um, enlightenment enlightenment potion though is like strictly good in my mind. Blind chicken finding some cream. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to think of the crawl devs. Pretty straightforward layer so far. I'm just air striking right now because it's it's kind of the most straightforward way to clear some of this stuff. Hey Nabesis, what's up, man? Hey, we can take out Komodo dragons very good. I should quiver air strike. No, I'm doing boomer casting today. Besides, like, I get four casts, I think we can deal with the slight slowdown. Ah, oh boy, what a shit show. What a horrendous shit show. Goodbye. To, I guess. I'm kind of afraid nasty things are going to show up. I'm going to attack, actually. Quicker. Zom summons Cactus Giants. Uh, you know what? This is, this is a bit scary. Why don't we pull these guys up? Cactus Giant down to 4%, not bad, um, which comes right in line with me getting summons to 15, so that's cool. Hi, fellas. It's hallway time. Yeah, have a grand old time with, with all of this. Have a grand old time getting hit by my cactus's spines, yeah. That is where he shines. Hi guys. Uh, we're in We Wish We Had Fireball. Um, let's just pull this up. Whoa! See how much damage they can do? 
See how much damage they can do? It's no joke. Uh, now we officially have kind of a bad situation. Yeah, this this none of these staircases are kosher now. This is not. Uh, this is actually quite bad. Did they take away invis potion? I bet they did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, poison resist ring. I'll take that. We got uh, Mana Viper, that's a plus. Um, Passage of Galubria, not bad, not bad. Do I dare take the shaft? I think maybe we take the shaft. Because <laughs> hmm. the character is just so um, fragile, you know. Going down into any of these staircases is kind of a nightmare. Well, they... What do you mean? They take you to a random spot on the floor, if that's what you're saying. They could potentially... It could potentially take me into layer 6, which would be... Which would be unfortunate. Um, I would just invis and go down, but I don't know if we have invis. There is no layer six. Ah, you're right. There hasn't been a layer six in a while. That is why this layer five is so nightmarish. Um, well, 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 well. In that case, we're gonna leave uh, and we're gonna do layer five later. We'll come back when we're in. Uh, snake form, I guess, and have a little more defense, and we'll just go into the, we'll do the, uh, we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the floor of the, the staircase that has all the blink frogs, that will be easy enough to tank. Yeah, it looks like it'll be pretty strong. Um, I'm just gonna get summons to 15 so that Cactar, I mean, excuse me, oh, no, copyright infringement, Cactus form is, uh, <laughs> oh, man. is totally reliable. Null Sergeant. Let's see if they change them. Ice Spire? You mean Lightning Spire? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty strong. Don't worry. Give them give them enough years of bike shedding, and they will uh, they will change it. They will refluff it to ice spire. Yeah, not a great not a great sprite. Yeah, I mean it's just like it's a strict upgrade over cat form. You know what I mean? So. Like, why would I not get it online if I can do it for minimum? Uh, hello, is that Snorg? Snorg. Snorg has Berserk. Um, oh, he was busy Berserking. Okay. Killed my Quaka. I'm a little confused because it looks like... Okay, that's not his life bar. That's the red aura behind him. I was like, is he almost dead? No way. Um, I'm not going to airstrike. I'm going to... Oh, hello. Okay. Killing the lightning spire while we... Just get some distance between me and him. Oh, he's coming. He's coming straight for me, as he is wont to do. Um, out of mana. Um, let's think about this. I don't want to burn Blink. Burning Blink would make me really sad. 
However, we may have to if we don't want to burn an extra life. Um, charming would be 23%, not worth it. Quicksilver is probably the way. Now, if I wonder if... I, I forget if you can... Uh, Yeah, I was paid a giant pile of money to play this. What's up, Alderaan? I wonder... I don't remember... I don't think you can Quicksilver off Berserk, but, um... Anyway, he can't hit me, so I may as well do it. Can't hit me this next turn. I can't fear him because he's Berserk. Yeah. Quicksilver is the way. Misses him. Let's try again. If I get hit, it's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he, uh... You can't uh, dispel off Berserk, which is what I thought. Um, interestingly, we did a very low amount of damage to him. Um, the question is, do we want to, um... Let's see, how much damage does he do? I think he can one-shot me. Okay, it's politely showing me the actual damage that he does with his Berserk stuff, so... 30 plus 22 plus 22. He can definitely kill me even with one set of attacks. He can actually get two because he's technically hasted from the Berserker Rage. Sure wish we had Blink available. If I had memorized Passage, we could have uh, used that in advance, but that's okay. The real question is... Do we want to burn the Blink? I almost I almost value my, my Blink more than I value my extra lives, but... Uh, let's let's burn the blink. Let's burn the blink. Let's specifically go here so that the cactus kind of pops up between me and him. Uh, I probably should have gone one tile closer so that my lightning spire could keep attacking. So, all right, we spent a blink to kill Snork safely. Yeah, you don't lose the exile on death, so it's like it's it's just real tempting to to use the the lives as the res as like resources. I'm not gonna lie, um, and that's just. I, I don't think I can get around my, my hard-won instincts, though, to, like, always always stay alive regardless of anything, so... I think you're probably right, though, and I may I may come around to that. Um, well, it won't break the streak because we have extra lives on the felid. Okay, because we have such good... Um, is BTCs... No, we had a, um, we had a little crash today. Um little pullback from 72k to 69k. Now we're back up to 70, almost 71. So, uh, I mean, you're going to see that. <laughs> that's, that's, gonna, that that's been known to happen, so. Um, oh, man, I've got a headache. Let me, let me sip some water here. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, assets don't, uh, whoops, assets don't just go straight up forever, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, I mean, that's true, if that's been true of almost anything. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, skills. Um, I think, I think we're gonna take evocations to five, just because we have such good consumables there. Good, good, good evocables there. And then we're also gonna take, uh, we're also gonna take shape-shifting to ten. Oh yeah, no, it, it, it broke its all-time high. Its all-time high was 67 before the um, last couple days, I believe. So, or maybe, no, 69, roughly. So, went all the way up to 72 recently, as, as recently as yesterday. All right, minimum skill is 10 for the talisman. So we're going to go to 10, even though negative 2 apt, and we're going to see, we're going to see where it takes us, yeah. That is a wolf spider. Oh boy. Come on, wolf spider. Oh, it's a door. Oh, hello! Those guys open doors. What the fuck are you? Why do you look so spooky? An occultist? Uh... A wizard fond of illusion and treachery. So a DCSS dev. Um, he got fireball. He got whoa! It's just a wizard. It's literally just a wizard. Why do they change the? Is this just to troll people who have their RC files set up to warn them about this? 
Oh, man. I guess I, I think I have wizards in my RC file as... Uh... Okay, I'll make a little note to myself. Thank you, Peebler. Um, can they, can Arcanist, uh, can Arcanist paralyze? Is that the joke? Alright, note to self. Arcanist and occultist. I wrote it in my Discord. That's a goofy tile. Um, vitrify? Hmm. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the banishing. Let me tell you. Anyway, I've got dudes between me and him, so I'm not too worried. Um, well, that, that is obnoxious. I hate magic resist threats, but it's fine. Um, we will live. Okay, my dog can see invisible, so him going invisible is not going to save him from a uh, wolfster over here. Um, to push banish later into the game. Okay, well that's nice. I mean, honestly, if it's past lair, it's like, it's whatever. I strongly feel like the answer to magic resist threats is to not make the player fight them, except in certain parts of the game. Um, so like early game threats like grinder I don't like. Uh, poison arrow. Okay, let's heal. Well, his his fireball can only do 3d21, so that's 63 damage. He cannot one-shot me. And he can't fireball me at all right now, because I have dudes between me and him. But Banish, I mean, yeah, Banish, of course, that's going to scare me more than anything, because it's total RNG as to what kind of nonsense I have to fight after that point, so. Lightning Spire disappears, that's fine. Um... I'm gonna put more dudes between me and him in case he decides to poison arrow again. Technically, that could just fly right past all my dudes. Heal my guy again. Goodbye, occultist. Alrighty. It's an interesting little vault. It doesn't seem to have much in the way of loot. But it has all kinds of just completely nasty enemies. Like him. My god. I think that's a... Is that a rare? Yeah, that's a... That's a, uh, a Rand. Rand art. Cactus Giant should just win. Yeah. Whoa, 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 This could be bad. Mm, I mean, it's a vault. What do you mean by normal vault? Oh, you mean because the loot's not good. That's really cute. That's really... I knew that was going to happen eventually. Um... It might be... It might be okay. Who knows? We'll find out. I am going to be curious enough to look. <laughs> well, I can't leave. I'd have to move and attack, and I, I need to keep vision of this thing so it keeps getting hit. Hopefully the dog high rolls. It does not. Uh, We're going to have to end up using resources, I think, to resolve this situation. Uh, unless, unless the imp high rolls, that could happen. Um, let's take a step. Whoa, there it is. There it is, flying right through everything. Um, okay, just out of curiosity. 81% chance. Let's just burn a heal wounds. It wasn't strictly necessary, but it, you know, kept me alive. Yeah, it's alright. Um, 
Ring Mail of Weirdness, Arcor and Strength plus two, and a <laughs> and a Serpent Talisman. Now that I have two Serpent Talismans, I can turn into a double snake. Just kidding, of course. The game just really wants me to be a snake. Alright, so that that's actually good loot, I guess, if you want to be a shapeshifter. Um, I'm tabbing... We found Sigil of Binding just now. That's a bad spell. Um, okay. That's just ice. Um, Discord, I guess. Uh, Disjunction, that'd be good if I decide to do 15 runes. Um, that's weird, Love Worm. All he said was, you are a snake, Harry. You can't say you are a snake on Twitch? What? That's really weird. What a... What a weird draconian world we live in. I have an idea of why they would have censored that phrase, but I can't say it on this platform. Um... Yeah, it's what a weird phrase to... Just whatever. Um, silence is available. That'd be useful and extended. Maybe even late game. Uh... I guess... I guess Arc Jolt is like, eh. It's, there's my AOE, I suppose. Um. It depends on which country you're in, I think. I think they changed the name of this from just Simulacrum to Sculpt Simulacrum. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? This this headache is starting to bother me. Um, I am going to call up my coffee delivery service. I don't know if it's a caffeine headache, but we're gonna find out. I am back on the coffee train, so... It's not necromancy anymore. Uh, okie dokie. More spells, more spells. Um, Orb of Destruction, if we wanted to go down the Conjuration route. Uh, Conjure Ball Lightning, <laughs> if we want to, if we want to live the meme and proceed to die to our own Conjure Ball Lightning, then we could, we could do that. Um, Starburst. That's an option. Um, I guess so, Love Worm. Discord plus CBL. I mean, yeah, that would be the the cute that would be a cute combo, wouldn't it? What could go wrong? <laughs> just just make the Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, you'll make Zom happy. You'll make Zom incredibly Oh, that's cute, Alderaan, yeah, I like that. Um I almost want to use Starburst. I gotta almost do I gotta do this in honor of doesn't he? The the fire the fire mage. Um and then the final book uh, wow revivification hmm. hey it's my favorite it's my favorite necromancy spell as far as uh, as far as the um, flavor of it goes no BVC unfortunately which is my favorite spell in general as far as uh horrendously overpowered spells go, but infestation is pretty damn strong. I don't know, I think we just, uh, I think for now we just ignore all this crap, uh, and we just keep on keeping on with the shape-shifting plan. Although, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make it, um, BVC, Borgnor's Vile Clutch. It's Gamma Funk's, uh, the spell that he put in the game and has just horrendously, re it's been horrendously broken since the very beginning. It has been nerfed a few times, and the the commit messages when he nerfs it are hilarious, where he's like, it's not actually overpowered, people just get, they have the perception of it being overpowered. Uh, it's just this, like, weird, condescending screed. And the fact is, like, I would use the spell if it did no damage. Uh, so it's been, like, sort of soft nerfed or side-graded about three times, and it, it's still broken as hell, but 
Whatever, if they want to give me a broken tool, I'll take it. Whatever. Can't complain, I guess. I find it odd, but... Can I still be confused by this guy? Pretty low chance. Um, and we have four curing. What do I think of certain consumables being randomized so that a given game may or not be able to drop them? Um, I'm on the fence about it. I think my knee-jerk reaction is to hate that because it's like... You know, there are some that are just, you know, strictly better for, for certain situations. Like, if you, could, if you could set it up to where one was never strictly better than the other, then sure. But, um, like, for example, well, actually, here, I can answer this question better if you remind me what are, what are some of the different swaps. Like, is it Charming and Paralysis? You can't have both? Is that one of them? tell you something, it should be explicitly revealed in the description of the wand, like, because this is here, you will never see paralysis. Like, if you're going to do some janky stuff like this, they, they, they talk about, um, they, t well, in Terraria, you can get the other ores now with fishing and things like that, but, uh, fossils, I think, but anyway, like, if, if they're going to make it kind of spoilery like that, I don't know, they, they should, eh, root slash ice blast. I mean, yeah, this is like wildly different. I, I don't know. I mean, at least with Charming and Paralysis, it's like, okay, both of these are magic resist uh, targets, you know. Um, yeah, Roots is just beef. Well, Roots is, uh, again, like, it's, uh, there's, there's, yeah, you just, you just want the Roots. <laughs> you, you're going to choose the Roots every time if you could, right? That's not a side grade, really. So it's just, to me, that's just more, that's like floor RNG on steroids. And DCSS already suffers from floor RNG in the case of, like, needing mutation potions, for instance, or, you know, whether you find resistances in time for your game not to be, you know, a slog. So I think that increasing floor RNG and then, like, adding another level to it is not... I just don't think it's the way. Um, okay. Um, yes. So I guess... Okay, I guess this is probably one of those things where it's, like, theoretical optimal play man wants the roots. Non-theoretical optimal play man maybe wants the ice blast, I guess. Um... They changed roots. How do they do that? Sorry, I've been sitting here for a minute because... Uh, let's see, if he doesn't go invisible, we'll be okay. Actually, we'll be okay even if he does go invisible. He just keeps biting the, the cactar. I mean the cactus giant. All rights reserved. In Trunk, there's a new one called Warping. I heard about that. Doesn't it just do dispersal in like a fireball pattern? Something like that. God, Cactus Giant is strong. I mean, it's a level 6 spell, it should be. Any way to make Zomboid characters sleep even when they're dead tired? Many of my characters wake up at like 3 a.m. if I put them to bed at 11 p.m. Um, that, no, that just happens. Um, you can wake your guys up early with an alarm, but waking up late, um, why don't you just like work out until the morning or something, you know? If you don't want to be outside it during, uh... You know, there's plenty of things to do inside. Uh... Boy. How much do you do? 44? Enjoy the TV. Yeah! This is so unbelievably lame. Like... This is stupid. Let me let me tell you what. Uh, it may not be clear why I'm annoyed right now. The attack of opportunity system, because of the way it's been described to me and the way I've observed, check this out. If I just if I just reorganize myself down here as I might want to, just swap places with my with my dog, this guy's gonna get an attack and then another attack. Even in D and D, it's not this punishing. You could do a five foot step. Um. No, I think merging takes a turn, if I remember correctly, but um, that would suck even more. I don't think that's the case. But, like, that is... I don't... Here's the sad thing. I don't even think that's intended. I think the devs are just incompetent and didn't even envision this scenario and probably didn't test it at all. But, I mean, does this really seem like something that should be... I don't know. Let's let's poll the audience. Informal poll. I'm not actually going to run a poll, but, like, what... I'm really curious. Am I the only one who thinks this is bad design? Peebler, you in particular, I know, you're, you're Wise Wolf, right, if I remember correctly. 
um, you you know about DCSS, like pe people who play a lot, like does this, and actually no, people who just play casually, like what what do you guys think? Does that feel as dumb to you as it does to me? The fact that I can't swap with my ally while next to a dude, and it's and what's bizarre what's bizarre about it is that if I was swapping in that direction instead, I, everything would be hunky dory. I mean. I'm not the only one. It feels it's weird to you. I mean, I think the sooner pleasing fungus stops making changes to to mainline, the the better off the game is. Um, he just kind of floats in every few years and makes a bunch of really dumb changes and then then leaves. Um, yeah, no, I I also get what they're trying to achieve. I just I have a fundamental disconnect. I think where I just I just fundamentally disagree that stair dancing and column dancing is a bad thing and and resetting fights like i think i think what they did was they saw like this is the fundamental premise of dcss and they said well we don't like that um and when you start when you start shadow boxing against the fundamental premise of your game you, you end up in like a cataclysm dark days ahead situation where everything becomes a jumbled mess um sidesteps are already punished yeah right because you 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 are spending a turn you know what I mean? So you're still getting attacked. That's fine. Um, you're, you're spending a time... Any Anytime you're spending a turn moving rather than doing things that make your enemies disappear, um, you're you're right. You're paying a price. Like, nothing is more valuable in DCSS than turn, turn economy. Um, 1.33... I, I don't know what you're talking about. It has, like, 2.0. It seems to be 100% of the time. Am I wrong about that? I mean, um, oh, cool. I called in the delivery for the coffee delivery service. Yeah. It seems to have arrived. Hello. Um, what Sorry, do I... it took a little long. That's okay. Do, um, do, what do I owe you? A kiss. Oh, okay. Okay, delivery lady, please do not tell my wife because she'd probably be upset <laughs> if I... Uh, I'm just saying, she probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> mm. Damn, that's good. Release the kitten on the delivery boy. Did I just kiss a delivery boy? Oh boy, I uh, I don't know about that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> mm. I kissed Rogi. I have I have never kissed Rogi. I'm paranoid. The problem is that I happen to know that cats clean themselves with their mouths, and so I will I will never kiss a cat. I will pet her though. Uh, anyway. So, long story short is, like, 80% of the clever little movement tricks that I used to use are now no longer optimal. And it's it's supposed to be one-third. Uh, yeah, I mean, this could kill me. I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, like I said, I have the extra lives, so I could play a little bit fast and loose. But in, in general, this is just, this is just super lame. Um, I'm just going to burn Quicksilver. It's fine. I have 20 charges. Okay, my nightmare is now real. Uh, it is a 66 damage doing very large uh, slime creature with 181 HP. Um, Fesu, hey, what's up, man? Man, how you doing, buddy? What if it's it's a fun combo, and I gotta say, I gotta give props to um, I gotta give I gotta give props to you came for good. Well, no, man, man. I wanna. Did you hear me talking about attacks of opportunity? This is and you're you're you as a fellow hardcore like, you know, infinite streamer or excuse me, infinite streaker as I would call it. Because I mean, let's let's be real. Once you get to fifty, you can get to a million. Um, check out what they've done. So now the way that attacks of opportunity work is even dumber than it used to be. Can you guess what would happen if I swapped with my dog right now? This, just take a guess. Take a guess as to the result of me swapping with this dog. Oh, you heard. But so, let me, what's your take on that? Like, doesn't it seem weird and dumb and inconsistent that I move like this, I don't get an attack of opportunity, but I move away, and I, and I don't. The double attack is what really gets me. Like, just, he's already getting an attack, leave it alone. Like, why? I don't know, man. It's... All right, 18 evasion. He can't kill me. He only does 66 damage. I think the play here is a poor oversight. No, P Wise Wolf here, uh, people are here, seems to think, 
and he, he may very well be right. He 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 believes, based on the number of changes they've made, that it's on purpose, not an oversight. I personally, my instinct is that it's an oversight as well, because it's hard for me to imagine that someone could be dumb enough to think that this is good design. But um, at the same time, the mainline devs constantly astound me with their bad decision making. So, uh... okay. Yeah, that's not helping me if I take 120-some damage. <laughs> yeah, eventually, after you take, like, eight hits. I mean, good lord. Um, I mean, that's the thing. They've just brought back, like, a like a weird, you know, neutered version of random energy. It's just, it's just why, what is the purpose? All right, here's the move. We're going to Quicksilver for damage. Um, this is the highest damage thing we can do right now. Well, actually, is it? Maybe casting canine familiar again is. <laughs> Yo, random energy is back too. So they've just, they, I just, I just picture this dude walking in a circle with a smug look on his face, like I'm accomplishing something, you know, like it's unreal. Should I just recast lightning spire? It's not like it's gonna help me move, but it could be zapping this dude. No, we're just gonna keep up with the damage, and if I, if I take a hit, if I take a hit. If I take a hit, we will just fear. And if I die, I have two extra lives. It's no big deal. There it is. Well, actually, I wonder about fear because they... Actually, what I could do is burn a heal wounds. Yeah, I'll burn a heal wounds because that's... Yeah, I'll burn a heal wounds. There we go. Um... You'll notice he didn't do his full 66 damage, so this is fine. Heal wounds less valuable resource than fear. If their aim was to offend me. I mean, like... I don't know, I'm reminded of an old meme that I, I can't really say the details of, I guess, but it's like... Okay, I'll say it the nice way. There's this old thing from 4chan where it's like, there's this guy... He's like doing a goofy little pose, he's like a stick figure, and... and and the other people are like, man, that guy's being really stupid. And, um, and, and then they like, they just walk away. And then in the next couple panels, the guy kind of goes back to acting normal and he goes, ha ha, I was only pretending to be stupid. And I mean, if, the, if their goal, that's what I see the devs is doing. I, don't, I mean, I don't think their goal is to mess with me with this. I think they genuinely think that, that, uh, attacks from opportunity are good design, but I mean, that, that's, <laughs> it's funny to think of that, I guess. Um. Uh, I don't know. Hey, sick. I relied on RNG and my, my spire showed up where I would have placed it. I find them repulsive. <laughs> uh. Whatever, man. They infringed on Sony, uh... Excuse me, is it Sony? Square Enix, Square Enix, they, they infringed on Square Enix's copyright by putting this cactar into the game, so I can at least enjoy that. What are you talking about, Alrain? Please explain. Okay, so I just stepped away from the Vampire Mosquito. I did this to test. I don't see the Pursuit thing. So, Peebler, you were right. It is not 100% of the time right now. Just airstrike them. Yes, Nabesis, you're functioning under the old-style rules where you think I'm going to get more damage out of it because they're flying. Yeah, you're like, oh, look at that. It's going to insta-kill. Well, surprise! doesn't work that way anymore. Um, they have to be uh, surrounded by empty space if I want to get full-on mega max damage out of it. Yeah, yeah, super lame. I mean, it's all right. It makes airstrike more. Um, well, it's kind of what I'm talking about, where everything's got to be homogenized. Everything's got to be like keep it stupid, keep it boring. Um, you know. Um, where it's just like, yes, airstrike is more useful in the general case now, but wouldn't it be neat? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be neat if? Uh, I mean, yes. I let me. Peeper, let me put it this way. I like the concept in a vacuum. I think it's a cool idea for a spell. I think they could have just made a new spell. Uh, I think that Airstrike's old mechanic was interesting. Um, 
it's hard to hate the change totally because as you say it is a neat idea um i don't i don't hate the general idea i actually think it's kind of cool um Uh oh, I'm minus dog. Oh yeah, make it yeah yeah yeah. Put like a hell yeah, make it like a make it like a really you know what I would do. Here's a cool idea: make it like a level eight spell called uh, air burst, and then uh, and then like like make it do big damage. And there and then and then you have like a smite targeted spell, you know, that's like hardcore, you know, like the the greater smite or whatever. I'd have to think about that though. That might be a little too high level for. I mean, it'd be it would become more of a tool for extended than anything else at that point. It might be too strong. If you gave it the kind of damage I was thinking. By the way, a minute ago I attacked my lightning spire to make it go away. So oh, you want to like you want to like. <laughs> you could merge it with Gel's Gravitas, which nobody uses, because it's always been terrible. No matter what they do to it, nobody wants to use it. Oh no! Oh no! Yes, yes it does. Yes it does, and it's still garbage. Gil's Gravitas. Uh, it just does the thing where it sucks everything together. I mean, it's like, it's such a neat concept, but it just doesn't do enough damage to be worth it, really based. I like that love worm. Uh, anyway, Mr. Cyclops. Mr. Cyclops is hardcore. He can do uh, 35 plus. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know why they wouldn't add the rock damage, but I, I happen to know it's 50, 55 because um, it's, well, it's 20 base for the rock and then 35 plus 20 is 55. So he can't kill me in one hit. So we're going to make our cactus giant. That's helpful. We're going to make our doggo. Uh, we're going to make, oh, wow. Cactus Giant has some goddamn HP on him. He just ate... If you look at that log at the bottom there, he ate a large rock, two exclamation points, and then he also hit... Oh, no, he didn't. I don't know why the Cyclops... I don't know why I was thinking the Cyclops got two attacks. Um, but... Uh, I don't have a bot in my chat. I think the... I think that I would add the Twitch bot, but I think the only one is run by the most narcissistic man in the universe who regularly... Well... Hey, Wise Wolf, you're you're a computer science guy. I remember I once tried to uh, smugly talk shit to you about computer science, and then doesn't he pulled me aside and was like, "He works as a software engineer. You're not going to win this one." And I was like, "Shit," um, because as you know, I also do software engineering. So I was like, I th "Well, I thought you were just talking." Well, the thing is, like, so many people talk out their ass about code, and so I just assumed, and you know what assuming means? It makes an ass of you and me. So. Um, I lost that one, but my point is, uh, be the change you want to be in the world, uh, and build me a Twitch bot, and I will happily use it. It should be pretty easy, I assume, to hook into LearnDB or whatever it does. It's probably just like, uh, Socket or something, I don't know. Mm. I don't think they have that totally locked down, and probably if it came from you, they wouldn't be able to... They wouldn't be able to, uh argue that you're like a bad man who shouldn't be allowed pass yeah passage is an option through this although we would have to train a bit of transocations and some spell casting to get the levels um i was sitting around uh, like i think I, I just had like a seizure and flashback to five years ago and i was like i'm gonna use a wand of digging <laughs> where's my wand of digging but i think they may have did they remove those from the game or did they uh maybe they just reduced the number of charges you get um do we have any other ways through this? Um, <laughs> no, we don't. We just have passage. Wands of digging are still in the game. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever. It's a Vuln scroll, which is useful, and then it's a, it's a scroll that we already have. You know what? Just for funsies, let's find out what that other one is. I looked at the text, and it's okay. It's noise and Vuln. I can live without these. The Vulns are, are very useful for taking out really powerful uniques, but I have five of them, so. Hey, uh, now, now e shadow. Uh, now shadow? Now is shadow? Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, hey, you know what? We have just been, like, stacking gold. We've essentially been playing, um, Atheist plus Gozag Aura for a while. If I, if I really wanted to, I could, like, 
make a shop and try to get some stuff, but I, I don't know. I think I'll save it for potion petitions. Shapeshifting is coming along. We're at five skill now. Let's take a quick look. A little gander here. Um, health reduced by 40% right now if I try to use it. With plus five uh, AC though, so that's not bad. Um, and you get five more strength. I mean, I think I'm going to enjoy Anaconda form. Oh boy. I'm, I'm outie, I'm outie 5,000, my friends. It increases your health. Well, yeah, I'm sure it does once you have the skill to support it. Kirky. Kirky's going to be around this corner. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I forget if she can impiggin my, uh, my allies or not. That would be cute if she could. Imagine if she turned my, my imp into a hell pig. Secretly, secretly the, um, the best sprite in the game, by the way, which no one has ever heard of because it doesn't really show up most of the time, very rare game where you would ever see it, is the holy pig. Um, look it up in the, in the, uh, you know, in the, in the GitHub if you want. It's like a little pig with angelic wings and a, and I think it even has a halo. And it only shows up if you, um, oh, I think very rarely it can show up in Pandemonium or Abyss, but really where you're going to see it is if somehow uh, an angel-type uh, type enemy like uh, Menace gets uh, porkulated by Kirky. I don't think I've ever seen it without engineering a situation where it shows up. Uh, menagerie, as I remember, I forgot she had abjuration, but that makes sense because she's a summoner. Um, invisibility and porculation, porculator. Um, you seen them in Holy Pan? I, I may have seen one in Holy Pan once. I feel like maybe there's a vault that spawns them, like not in Holy Pan, but just just some kind of generalized pan vault. Uh, Okay, I have two, two animals, I have an imp, I have a dog, I have a spire, and I have the giant. No more summons for me. Maybe we just chill. I guess I could shock. I really want to take out Kirky, but... Okay, spire's doing work. My quokka dies, so... Another one of these guys. I, I, I guess we could... I guess we could airstrike her, but I think I'd rather just do the shock here, save my mana. I can always leave if things start getting hairy. Um, everybody attack Kirky, please. Oh, slightly transparent. She's in Viz, so only my dog can see her right now. Um, play a lot more DCSS for that to be worth. I suppose you probably would only be um, making it for me. Well, listen, if... All you gamefully employed people, if you can just keep giving me $150 a stream, which I know that seems pretty, pretty uh, well, not a stream, a, a run. I know that seems pretty pretty steep, but the reality is it's actually incredibly cheap as far as my time goes because these runs take hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm, I'm getting paid less than minimum wage, so if you guys can come together and keep throwing 150 bucks my way, I will, I'll happily keep running the, you know, until they fucking ban me, I will, uh, I will happily keep extending the streak, or until I lose, I guess. Um... It's it's all in the audience's hands as to whether I uh, as to whether I continue. You know, actually, what am I doing? You know what we could do? We could quicksilver if we wanted to make her non-invisible, and then all of my allies just like bam, bam, boom. Oh, you slowed me. Okie dokie. Um. Here's where we find out if I have balls or not, uh, because I am slowed and possibly I could just order all my dudes to attack her, but the reality is, this is DCSS, and when it comes to this game rather than real life, I am a coward. Goodbye. I don't play when I'm slow. Not happening, my friends. Um...
lightly wounded. Um, let's get the dog out. Everybody, please. Well, yeah. Let everybody attack Kirky. Okay, that's a nice gather up. What a what a great place for a fireball. If I had fireball. Um, if she goes invis. I might burn another quicksilver on her. Hmm. Well, airstrike is not terribly viable. I guess six out of eight's not bad. Um, let's try it. Twists and strikes Kirky. As long as she's not invisible, she's she's taken fat damage per turn. Um, seven mana left. Uh, I forget if there's a way to tell like who's targeting who. It says ally target. Yeah, nothing else is ally target, so everything is targeting Kirky. I believe I ordered them to attack her. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep... It's not great, not very much empty space, but I, I still feel like we're going to get more damage out of the airstrike than from shock. If, if the spire keeps doing its job, then we're going to be just good to go. Um, zap. Okay, good. I... I guess the Cactus Giant redirected onto the Komodo Dragon, but that's okay. 2x damage at all surrounding tiles empty. 1.7x... 1.75x damage with 6 tiles empty. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... Nice. I took a little bit of a risk letting her get next to me because... You know, she could have just sat there and high-rolled my ass at that point, like, Oh, you're a pig now. Oh, I'm attacking you. Oh, I'm taking no damage because I'm evading everything. But, whatever. It. I have, I have a lot of resources right now. Oh, you want to... I don't play it that way, huh? Um, not watching you. So, I think that gear, if it's not watching me, I think that guarantees that the attack of opportunity won't happen. That's a mechanic that existed before, but... Um, $150 to run a form of Warper of Kaz. Why are you making me play a warper form? Is that just, like, more punishment? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you, you, you joke, but that's not a terrible combo because the, um... Because the... Do they still get the tomahawks of dispersal? The early game wouldn't be un, unreasonable. The Kazlau would be uh, truly hellish. You know what, Alf? Uh... There's a price for that, for me to make that game number 69 in the streak. It's, it's gonna be more than 150. But I tell you, at this point... I, I give I, I care so little about this streak <laughs> uh, in terms of like oh I've got to preserve it um, that I think I'll I think I would do fun combos like that at this point if someone paid me enough. Um, that's a crazy combo though, goddamn. You wouldn't do that one specifically. I mean, I, I don't know why you would pick something else. Like if you just if you just straight up want to torture me, you could do like something of Zom, but I honestly think the Kazlau one would be more entertaining. Um, oh, man. So, we've just run into uh, Jorgren Thugshaker, I mean Earthshaker, um, and uh, hmm. oh, man. This is uh, probably the um, most dangerous, scariest, unique in the game. Now, he hasn't noticed me yet, but he's wandering in my direction. Um, we, we, we don't want to fight him. Um, in fact, I'm going to XV him again. He has Rapid Decon, he's got Iron Shot. Oh, he gets to have Iron Shot. I don't get to have Iron Shot anymore. Um, four tiles away, he can't reach me. The, the, the Val Clutch, excuse me, Grasping Roots, whatever you want to call it, is the dangerous factor here, as well as the Petrify. Um, and of course the fact that he can just dig through walls makes him the goddamn Terminator. He, he will, he will get to you. Um, 
Do I have the tools to safety to safely take his ass down? Not really. I would need to haste. I would probably want a brilliance. I would probably want to like. I mean, my my instinct would be to vuln his ass. If I wanted to be okay, if I want to be like, Mister Mister Resource User, um. Well, no, that wouldn't work. I mean, I want to vault him, but at the same time, I don't want to. I don't want to get uh, owned by by Petrify. And the truth is, I mean, what am I going to do? Polymorph him? I don't have paralysis. I have charming, so we could poly him. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna. Ah, um... oh, it won't show me what he can turn into. Anything's better than Jorgren, though. Okay, I know what we could do. We could. Um... Send a billion summons around him and then just emulate. Warper of Foe. Well, it's the Kazlau part that makes that nightmarish peebler. Like, um, uh, have you ever played a Kazlau Formacid? It's like, it's, it's interesting, let me tell you. In some ways it's awesome, but in other ways you're just having a really hard time. <laughs> How much damage does his Grasping Roots do per turn? That's the real problem. You're confident that it's horrible? There you go. Okay. Omega shields. <laughs> yeah, two-hander plus shields. You should just be able to wield two shields as a, as a Formacid. Jack your shield score up to 50. Or to like 100. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take down Jorgen right now. It's really early. It's really, really early, and he can just he can just wreck my whole shit. Um, two healing potions, because healing is is actually crucial here because of the grasping roots. Um, how much HP does he have? It's more than I'd like. Uh, yeah, 120. Threat lethal. Boy, you are not kidding. Um, He's definitely, he's definitely a skip. I mean, I guess that we could, <laughs> if I wanted to be really cute, I could, I could haste and then go up to him, Vuln. If I start getting petrified, I can always cancel. That would kill my haste, but I wouldn't be getting petrified anymore. Um, I know you have, I'm, you know what I'm going to have you do? Your own first extended win. Are you going to tell me what that is or is it a secret? <laughs> Um, like I said, if it's something truly nuts, the price may be higher. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't use V's? That's upsetting. It doesn't surprise me, but V's is actually a good, one of the good new spells in, um... Yeah, I mean, you just, you just, you probably just ignore the fact that you're a warper and don't even bother until may maybe you end up using Manifold Assault, I don't know. Teleport Other is probably pretty useful. Lesser Beckoning is like, eh, kinda. But, um, depending on the situation, it can be really useful. Like, you could use it against Orc Priests, but I mean, like, why wouldn't you just turn a corner in most cases? It, it is great utility, but nine, nine times out of ten, you'd rather just use positioning to, oh, I'm hiding behind a corner, oh, it's next to me now, you know. You are right, it has its uses. Um, I find it, interestingly, I find it more useful in, like, wide open areas and extended, like, Hey, there's a Hellion far away from me, and I foolishly didn't get any ranged options. Okay, now it's next to me. No, I agree. You're right. It has its uses. It does have its uses. Um, I, I think a lot more about the early game than the late game. All right, I've I've decided that if I'm if I'm taking down Jorgren, the the way that makes sense is it's it's got to be it's mo plus plus summons. Um, I wish I knew how much damage the Grasping Roots did per turn. I'm not prepared to do a bunch of math on his hit dice and whatnot. Uh, the Dispersal is... Yeah, Warper is a very, very powerful early game class. I, I actually think that Warper is not ha half bad for a Formicid or anybody else. Um, yeah, you lose out on the scroll, but the, the Darts of Dispersal... I guess there's no Tomahawks anymore. Um are really, really, really good. <sighs> I know I shouldn't fight him, but let's see, what are my other options? I could pop up into a lair branch. 
I could finish out Lair, although I don't have the defenses to survive any of those staircases right now. Um, I could go into Orc, I guess, but my magic resistance is not quite there yet. Uh, and that's it. Those are my options. I could ignore him, I guess, and do a floor skip. I don't really get a lot out of killing him. Like, I take him out, okay, the floor is clean, and I can finish dungeon. There's only this floor, the next floor, and the floor after that. Um, so it's like, eh, you know, it's 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 okay. Uh, at the same time, I think I need these two floors worth of experience. This is another situation where I don't think I would I would, yeah, with 68 health in the old version of Felid where I lose experience on death or on any other character, with, especially with this much HP, I don't think I'd even consider this. But like with the extra lives, it's like take the risk, you know. The problem is that the reason that this is like a an issue really is that uh, Grasping Roots is a real crapshoot. If Grasping Roots, if you could just blink out of it guaranteed, it'd be a whole lot uh, be a whole lot better. But you can't do that. There's a chance that it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh man, wait, we could get Mana Viper online. We don't even need it though. Like, if my guys are swinging on them, they're close enough for the... for the emulate to work. I'm gonna give this a shot. I think it'll be fine. If I if I die, I have two extra lives, it's fine. This is, this is a good situation to leverage that resource, I think. So we're gonna haste. Okay, 24 mana. I don't... Uh, we, we'll use Brilliance as well. Okay, he's attacking from off screen, that's fine. Okay. Glad I used the Brilliance. Um, we are not grasped yet. This is the time to start using Airstrike, I guess. Um, I do have a lot of resources, resources to get out if there is a problem. Um, I could even do a cute thing and like Voln fear him if I wanted to, but it's probably more like... As I don't really want to use Blink. Um, we could do that. I can heal to like buy myself more time. I'm hasted, so I have lots and lots and lots of actions over him. Uh, I think I think we're good. I think it's time to just airstrike the hell out of him. Get lots of airstrikes. Two exclamation points on that. Good damage. Everything's going to attack him. Once everything's next to him, if there's even like one thing alive, but hopefully two, we do that. We do that immolate. I'm not going to do it while the. Uh, the imp is next to me though, because that could explode and cause me a problem. He's choosing to just kind of walk, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to wait until two things are next to him. And I'm just going to keep air striking. Surge of power. I guess Brilliance does give you Arc Mage, that's useful. And this is the use for Brilliance. I, I, I poop on Brilliance a lot, but it's actually. It's not that it's not useful, I just like the old version better. Um, I see you, Mr. Boulder Beetle. We're ignoring you. Wait. Is this it? Do I want to cast, or do I want to... I think I want to immolate for safety. That Boulder Beetle is going to be annoying to deal with, but it's okay. Four scrolls of immolation, yeah. Alright, I made that look easy. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's it's not it's not been a bad run, I'll admit. Um some of these changes are good. Immolate just feels like horrendously broken now, by the way, compared to how it was originally. Like, the two changes where, one, it works on summons, and two, things just, like, sort of start generating flame clouds when you damage them. It's, it's, I have to admit, that's fun. I would put that in a fork. Um, it's, it's overpowered, but I almost think that consumables should be overpowered, because 
you know, uh, you don't get infinite. You don't get infinite numbers of them. How fun it was. Yeah, there you go. Past tense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and that was the server that I played on. And unfortunately, the server that's replacing it is run by the most narcissistic man who ever lived. So, uh, as you can imagine, I'm, I'm not about to log into that. Uh, I don't trust him not to, like, DDoS me or scrape my password out of the server logs and do something nefarious with it or try to dox me or something. I don't know. Very... Very untrust, very untrusting of that particular person. Um, was willing to, if he's willing to constantly lie to people about me, it's like, what else could he do, you know? Uh, anyway, that's okay. There are other servers, as you know, like the one I'm playing on now. Uh, what was that flash? That was the out of vision thing that I have in my RC file. Yeah, because. Interesting. The arrow hits your cactus giant. The arrow burns your cactus giant. The cactus giant looks... Um, it's a secret, Peebler. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud, because I don't want people to... I don't know. They could figure it out, but I don't want to make it easy for them. Uh, anyway, like... Uh, I'll tell you uh, the NDMs, I guess, but... I mean, I, I don't know. I showed it earlier, but <laughs> it's whatever. Uh... I want to show you guys something cool. This is one of the things, and this is very old, uh, old school DCSS stuff. One of the things I've always loved about this game, just through context clues, I just got revealed something very uh, cool. Just got revealed to me. Check this out, Cactus Giant. Uh, it's, it's this line right here. An arrow appears from out of your range of vision. The arrow hits your Cactus Giant. The arrow burns your Cactus Giant. Your Cactus Giant looks as sick as possible. What does that tell us? Any Anybody in the audience want to tell us what we now know, even though we can't see it? I know exactly where that arrow came from. Yep, it's Nessus, because Nessus is the only thing in the game... Uh, no, not Curie, because it burned it as well. Nessus is the only thing in the game that has an arrow that does two, uh, two different effects at the same time, burning and poison. So we know that Nessus is up here somewhere, just fooling about. Um... And we don't want to engage him, do we? Uh, not, not right now. I'm swiftnessing myself away, and I'm hoping that I can... I'm hoping that Nessus, if he's coming... Um, oh man! Oh, wow. Okay, he was off to the left. I thought he was off to the north. I didn't see the direction the arrow came from. Okay. Sixty-two percent chance to poly. That's cute. Yeah, we could charm. Um, sixty. I don't really enjoy the sixty-two percent odds. Um, and I think he can one-shot us probably. Um. We're not going to try to poly. I'm not. I don't want him to turn into a shining eye. Um, remember, he's still hasted, basically. Um, Twenty nine damage. Yeah, he can definitely. He can definitely one shot us uh, next turn if I if I roll poorly. I'm. It's funny because I'm like I'm like willing to take risks of dying now because I'm a felid. Um, so things I things I would do to preserve my my life in normal games like normally i would do like i'd be like oh god i can die like i'm gonna use a scroll of blinking to get away and then i'm gonna plan further from there etc like i would i would use resources to ensure there is no chance of me dying but um in this case it's like they've turned felid lives into a, any a resource just like like any other um and I'm still wrapping my head around that because before Felid lives were like you didn't want to consider them all at all because the experience loss was so painful. But um, yeah, I think I will just use charming. Frankly, <laughs> that would not be the move though on any other character. Um, the move would it would it would it would have to be blank. You know, um, I think. And even after that, it would be kind of a nightmare, but... We got the charm. Um, I 
We're trying to get to a staircase. Nessos, please, please, like, run that way and stay there. Problem is, he's gonna follow me. You motherfucker. Um... And I'm about to be slow, so he's really gonna catch up. He's my ally, but, you know, for how long? Wow, really? Another? Um... Okay, the hell floor here. I don't want to be in the damn dungeon. I don't want to be in the damn dirty dungeon anymore. Um, two D nine star, three D three D seventeen is what we got to worry about with the bolt. Um, Let's see, what is that? Uh, 20, 20, 27, 34, 44, 51, 51 damage. He can one shot me. Um, Demon spawn shapeshifter. Recreate your greater DS. Found plus three plate in the opening room and turns out you're monstrous. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy it. I mean, monstrous seems appropriate for such a run. For a shapeshifter run. I tell you, I wish we had resist fire. That it is upsetting that we haven't found really any useful resistances. I mean poison, okay, whatever, but let's just let's just airstrike him. The the, the, the positions are so I just like waved my finger at the screen like you guys can see it. The the layout of this map is such that he's gonna come in and out of vision. He really wants to go this way. I, I can't tell you why, it's just my instinct, having played this game enough, that I knew there was a strong chance he wasn't going to sit there and shoot me. He was going to he was gonna try to go around that, uh, you know. Let's just melee him. It's fine. Alright, and we survived. How do we like living? We didn't even use one of our life resources. So, you know what's kind of funny? On this character, and this is really kind of weird, but like on this character, I fear Nessus significantly more than I than I fear uh, Jorgen, Jorgen Thugshaker. I mean, I mean Earthshaker. Uh, like, you just can't... <laughs> you can't really get away from Nessus. You notice the kind of resources. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to use bling, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not really the case you know, with Jorgren, unless he, unless he gets a, a, uh, Val Clutch on you. You know, because he's speed 10. You could always swiftness away from him first, or whatever. Um, the Nessus is just like, once he's on you, it's, it's sink or swim time, so. I think I don't want to be in dungeon anymore. Show me, uh, show me this. 89%. We're getting there. I mean, I really have kind of cucked myself a bit in terms of this talisman. Um, like, I, I have just dumped experience into shape-shifting, and it, it, it has, uh, it has slowed me down, um, quite a bit. 18% chance to paralyze from Orc Sork. I want to go into Orc, um, have they changed this menu? Yeah, this menu didn't used to be here before, it used to be, I'm doing the control G. There's like a list now, when there wasn't before, um, it's okay, I guess, uh, I think, I think we pop up into the lair branches now. As much as I don't really want to, it's kind of the best of limited options. I tell you, I want to do lair five, but <laughs> not until I have defenses up in, in the in the snake form. Getting my HP, you know, to be boosted rather than reduced in that will be will be nice. Um, I'm thinking snake pit. Okay. Okay. My brain is completely forgotten. Uh, well, that's not a Naga Mage. That's a. It says a Naga Mage moves out of view. This is a Naga Warrior. He does might. I tell you, we don't want to be backed up in this corner and leave this place filled up with naughty guys. Um, let's. Uh, 
Lightning Spire. Uh, maybe they'll all just die to the Cactus guy. Uh, I don't know. Um, to make our imp to attack at range. Yeah, yeah, he's got that GSC. He's got that giant spike club. Let's let's do it, baby. There's our mage. Um, yeah, I knew they had something that could hit me. The venom, the venom bolt. And I'm resistant to poison, so that can only do about 15 damage to me. Maybe maybe 17. So he'll hit me, but maybe not. I'll just maybe I'll evade it. Spire's not doing much for me right now because of how packed this stuff is, but that's okay. Uh, I think the giant... I think I'm just going to sit here and wait while my guys do all the work. And then just like, oh no, he's dead. Okay, there's another giant. And hey, what good luck. It popped up right there. Uh, as I said, I got hit with the bolt. No problem. Um, hits me with the bolt again. I got red poison. Um, bolt poison misses me. Man, they really want me poisoned. Uh, let's, let's drink a curing, get that red poison off. Our poison is not poison immune, let me tell you. Uh, get the devil again. Um, huh, alright. I think I'm actually going to take a step, well, do I want to take a step back? God, I wish I had fireball. Fireball would be the way here, look at all this. Look at the perfect configuration for just fireballing most of this crap to death. My, my instinct is to actually use Quicksilver here just for the AoE. I could summon another giant, but I, you know, I want my damn Spire to be able to do some work, so why don't we just... Why don't we Quicksilver? I can always swap with my boy here afterwards. Man of Viper's dead. Good. Okay. Uh... Okay, I don't want to get constricted though. That's that's the that's where big boy problems start to develop. Don't don't have enough mana to cast. Yeah, right. Giant is six, not not four. I don't know. I thought it was four. Um, we gotta clear this entrance. It's kind of a non-starter to to not clear this entrance. Forty-four percent chance to charm the Naga. Oh. Uh... If I can get one mana back, I think we're going to be good to go. If something pops up in, I can swap with the Cerulean Imp. And if they kill the Imp, then I may have some problems getting out of here. Um, bro, I am, uh, I am so tempted to burn Immolate. Immolate would be really cute here. Um... Really a dangerous strategy, but I can't I can't die as long as I'm above 60 HP. So, I mean, granted they could like they could like breathe on me with a spit and get me below that. But if I were to emulate here and one of them died, the the whole situation would be better. Um, but I'm like so backed into a corner that that's a that is a dangerous uh, that's a dangerous play. I almost just want to make the dog. No, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's Quicksilver. Killed the Naga Warrior. Very good. Um, okay, and my, my Imp is now in a better position. I can be Attack of opportunity which is lame, by this Naga Warrior. He can actually hit me twice. <laughs> Let's see. All right, good. That didn't happen. Uh, all right, it's time for shenanigans. There it is. This is this is the way. It's it's a little wacky. I am backed into a corner, but. How are you alive? Boy, oh boy. Um, all right, that's okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna shock. Get the chain reaction. Going. Whoa, a sharpshooter too. I mean, we made a lot of noise here, so eh, a bit of a mistake. But 
and he's mited. That won't, I don't think that will affect his uh, ranged attack, but goddamn, he does enough. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can spire and put that between me and him if I'm lucky. Nope. But the explosion. Oh, hell yeah, the explosion killed the uh, sharp sharpshooter. And I got a reflect on his arrow. That was a lucky sequence of events. Alright, now we just see what all that noise uh, called to us. Nice. There you go. My boy. My friends, that's how we, uh, that's how you secure a snake pit entrance that's not very friendly. That, uh, that worked out just fine. Okay, um, health is now positive, so I think there is, uh, no reason not to be a serpent. Now that takes some time to transform, so let's just take a look. AC3, EV18, shields 5. Health, 68. Evoke, Serpent Talisman. My HP has gone up a little bit. My EV has dropped. My EV drops. Didn't say anything about EV dropping. Is that just the flat penalty from being large? Um, that's a big-ass penalty. Well, I'm also losing my bonus from being small, right? Okay, so this is not strictly better. Uh, big ol' big ol snake. I like, I like that my tile changed. That's cute. Um, why am I not immune to poison? That's goofy. Uh, powerful melee attack. Actually lose my RC and my AC from being furry. Uh, anacondas aren't immune to poison either. Okay, fair. I won't complain if you bring up reciprocity. Mm hmm hmm. Do I even want to be a serpent? Here's a question. If I gain skill in shape-shifting, do I get more AC and more health without transforming again? Or do I actually have to go in and then out of the form? I do. Okay, good. That would be horrendous design. <laughs> hey, baby, that's a, uh, that is a robe of magic resistance. Wouldn't that be cool if we could wear robes? It updates. Yeah, I see that. My HP just went to 70. You lash the Black Mamba. Your grab misses the Black Mamba. Ooh, yeah, this is the this is the enemy I used to think was, like, the most dangerous thing in, in here. I still do. Because it's, yeah, I had this whole calculus where, like, they, they zap you, they zap you again with the bounce, they zap you again because of speed, they zap you again because the speed wouldn't bounced. Ba 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 ba, stay away from walls. Um, as it stands, he can do 13, 26, 39 times 2 damage to me if he gets both of his things. So, um, if their thing can still bounce, I'm still scared of it. He just really wants me. He specifically wants me. And that's what they do. They, they try to ignore your allies, which makes the, the cactus, like, perhaps a little less good than you might want it to be. Uh, all right. Uh, yes, yes, I'll purchase all of these wonderful potions. Uh, attraction's absolute garbage, but I'll buy it just to identify it. Two rings of protection? Man, you're having a run. That's especially good on a monstrous, wow. Fair point. I think I just wasn't super concerned with it because, like, I know we're going to find more ID, but at 13 gold, it's just... <laughs> 
I mean, the thing is, it doesn't really matter one way or the other because, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, what do you call it? I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna be quaff IDing, but that'll, that'll save me an ID later. Look at that triple sword. Bruh, they brought back my favorite item. Did they nerf the hell out of it? Did they, did they come around to the idea that this, this item is actually, uh, something that should be in the game? I mean, unfortunately, it's like new style evocable, I bet, where there can only be one. But, uh. Yeah, I can't, I can't say no to Sack of Spiders, are you kidding me? Got a lot of that magic resist potion now. Can never take SH above 7. Oh yeah, because you can't wear a shield in beast form. Well, you might get the uh, you might get the one scales that give you shields, right? Shape shifting above. Oh, you mean you mean you just want to stick with beast form is what you're saying. Like no need to take it above seven. Oh, what am I doing? I'm playing like a madman. I should not be beside a wall. My god, can I just polymorph you? Uh, might as well just do damage. Um How dangerous. If I take a bunch of damage, I will just fear him, it's fine. Let's just melee. You lash, you grab. Um, I'm gonna do one more attack, because I'm, I'm attacking slightly faster than 1.0. 13, 26, 39. He could one-shot me, but it's, it's not super likely. I need more... Yeah, I'm gonna run the risk of attacking and dying. Yeah, there we go. Um, because he was constricted. It, the constrict, by the way, I'll tell you why. The constrict on this on this shapeshift uniquely makes it like really amazing for having summoned allies too. It's the same reason why Vile Clutch is so good. Just just straight up reduce the enemy evasion to, to zero more or less. You know. Really helps you and your allies. Super duper sick. Not as good as Vile Clutch though, because Vile Clutch, you don't need to defeat their evasion in the first place. It just like, boom, it just hits. But it's still pretty good. That guy's OTRing me. Okay, I made a slight mistake, thinking I could melee a Black Mambo, that's okay. I think we need unarmed combat up to 10 for that. Some hot Anaconda versus Anaconda action here. Sharpshooter, remember he can attack me through my bros. He has portal projectile. That's just, yeah, I mean, I'm a fella. It is what it is. I, I don't really want to be doing all of Snake. Um, what I want to be doing is going back and doing Lair 5 right now, but it is what it is. Uh, ordinarily, I would have I would have a lot more fighting than this, but the, the, the Snake form thing really just lured me. Um, and I'm now I'm getting HP out of it. So... You know, with this investment, I'm I'm getting. You know, the 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 power is coming basically. Uh, 
And I'm going to start training fighting in unarmed combat as well. Um, not exactly optimal. I should be leapfrogging, but it's fine. There's the damage. There we go. God damn. He just didn't want to go down. Now remember, in this game, uh, the Naga species is quite slow, so you can walk away and even if they don't forget where you are, they'll uh, take a long time getting to you. Okay, we'll heal our... Woo! Woo, okay, okay. Okay. How's my dog doing? Um, still full HP. Salamander Tyrant can do Eruption, which is... Uh, oh my god, that's that's enough damage to one-shot me right now. And Pyroclastic Surge. Um, it's a big problem that all of this stuff is on the board at the same time. You know, I did, something funny just occurred to me. I think that technically, because of the way that spines work, I think that my uh, my cactar can my cactus can can actually fight off screen. Can you believe that? Because think about it. If I take a step, here we go. Something bites your cactus giant. Something shocks your cactus giant. Something hits your cactus giant. Cactus Giant is involving flames. So I guess maybe they just don't take the spines damage. That's kind of lame. So if they melee my, my boy there, because um, they bit the giant, they should have gotten spines damage. But, hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. do not want to fight the salamander uh, while I'm not at like completely full HP. Anyway, it was worth a shot. I don't know if I'm going to finish this floor. Maybe. You hiss for attention. Oh, I do like that detail. I can get a little damage with airstrike. This is another reason I'm not so like keen on this uh, this effect because it's like it becomes useless in hallways where I'm doing very very little damage for lots and lots of mana. And oh my god, you juked me. You know, I really want silence. I actually want to pick up silence. I want to be Mr. Mr. Shapeshifter Silence Man. Um, silence is available in these books, and I have the money to pay for it. Okay, that's annoying. Um... This is a problem. I'm about to use a uh, potion petition if needs be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's potion petition time. Heal wounds and magic sounds good to me. As much as I'd like to have resistance. Yeah, once the lava is there, he can call forth gelts of flame from the lava, and then 
<laughs> He's not fooling around. Um, then you can do a rupture. I, I mean, one wonders why... Why even have both of those spells if they do the exact same amount of damage? I guess because it's AoE. That seems odd. Anyway, um, this is a good point to take a quick break. Uh, I am going to take a quick restroom break. Uh, I will be right back. And I guess maybe I'll uh, cut this out of the video later. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Um... How much time have we been streaming? Uh, uh, no, you cannot. I will. I will check. I will check, and I will ban you. Right, I will be back in just just a minute. I'll be right back.
All right, I have I have returned. Um, yeah, I have returned. Uh, let me just take Rogi away. Take this away. So yeah, we're in this uh, horrifying, hor horrifying situation, aren't we? Oh man, this is the um, wow! You found two acquirements. That's incredible. I read that as acquisition at first and thought you were playing a Ferengi of Gozag. A continuation? What do you mean? No, spiders is not the move. Um, spiders would be cool and all. Like, it probably would make a lot of useful buddies. Maybe not with my lowish evocations, but... And it could web him or whatever, but, like, no matter what I do, he's, he's likely to, uh... He's he's likely to just like cast the thing again that does seventy five goddamn damage to me. Um, this is the same stream. I just went to the bathroom for five minutes. Um, did I put up the? Did I accidentally put up the stream is ending rather than stream is beginning? Yeah, no, I'm not. I wasn't ending the stream. I was just. <laughs> I made it clear I was just going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I uh, nobody nobody's listening to me. Uh, they're terrible. On this dude, he's got really good, uh, MR, so that's not, that's not the move. Um, I know what the move is, I'm pretty sure. Um, positioning makes it impossible to blink out of this. And again, this is a situation where it's like, life has resources. I, I, I let myself get into this position only because I have extra lives, um, Fog, fog is an option. Um, there's, there's two. Hey, Saffer, what's up, man? Hey, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, it's the king of turn count running. So fog is the guaranteed safety play, um, and that's that's that was one of the two things I had in mind. Uh, the other thing we could do uh, is we could we could potion petition again and kind of cross our fingers really hard and hope that we get resistance and heal wounds. Um, but as far as um, optimal play goes, yes, fog fog is the answer. Um, fog literally cannot screw us. We will get more turns. Um, and hey, if we're lucky, maybe the maybe the lava will go away. Not that it really matters. He has a spell that does the same amount of damage. Um, once we do the fog, probably the answer is still to potion petition afterwards, though. Um, sack, I you mentioned sack. I don't think sack is ever really going to be the play here. Even even at high evocations, it's just the problem is that it doesn't it doesn't stop him from doing the damage. Like we need to stop him. We need to either stop him from doing the damage to us to to secure the kill, uh, or we need to mitigate it somehow, which resist fire would do for us. Um, now fog is a resource that we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough of. It'd be nice to have more, but of course it's worth spending here. Um, see, guaranteed because of the it's because you're in like an enclosed space. So like I was saying, um, at this point, really the only thing that makes sense is to, um, are you kidding me? If you, you're telling me that if I press enter here, it won't stop at the end of line of sight. Is that really how that works? Cause that's not how anything has worked in the past, but unless they changed it, that's a new one on me. Anyway, we could do that. Um, I am more inclined to either, well, let's see, how much gold do we have? We have two, not as much as I'd like. We have two, two, eighty, um, so 40, 12, 16, 20. We have like, like five-ish potion petitions available. My, my instinct is to just like suck down potion petitions, go for like haste, go for fire resist, go for, you know, whatever to make me have more turn economy and more ability to deal with this dude. Um, Quicksilver would be the, if, if, if you're correct about, you know, being able to hit into the black, uh, that would be the most resource um, efficient way to deal with this dude. But there's no guarantees it'll actually, actually work. And if I were to miss a bunch of times or not do enough damage and he shows up, once he's in line of sight again, we're in a, we could lose a life instantly sort of scenario. So I'm not, I'm not partial to that. Telly is an option. Um, we used Fog. He was here. Therefore, he is there now. One, two three 
I mean, Telly would be a decent way to kind of sort of bring us to safety. And the reason why that's a pretty good move is because, like, I think this is the only spawn on the entire map that's not explored. Um, so what it probably is... I'm shocked that we don't have a resistance potion. Wow. It's probably just not identified. This is my own... Uh, I'm being punished for being so greedy and not quaff ITing. <laughs> but at this point, I don't want to uh, I don't want to quaff my way into mutation. You know what I mean? That can be uh, a nightmare scenario. So, uh, yeah, I... I think probably it is, in fact, uh, Telly, and then we go ahead and burn a little bit of gold on a potion petition. Get the Telly charging up. And then... Do this. And it looks like we got the exact thing I was hoping for, which is resistance and heal wounds. The other stuff is kind of whatever. Um, actually, I think... Salamanders, can they see invisible? I forget. Hey, streaming hours? Well, I, uh... Well, I, I streamed at American Hours yesterday, and then for, for Centolio, I streamed uh, at European Hours. Uh, I am doing well. How are you? Yeah, they don't see Invis, do they? Anyway, we're, like, totally safe now. His, his stuff will be doing half damage to us. Boy, I gotta tell you, I wish I had resist fire all the time. <laughs> like, what a, what a sad situation that we don't have at 24-7. Um, and now, just, just kind of out of curiosity, I have to know... I, I don't doubt Saffer. He knows his stuff. He plays uh, turn count, and he and he's very good at the game. It's just I am, I am so shocked that you can shoot into the black. I'm I'm gonna test it. And there's no way to verify, is there? Other than to look at his HP, but I probably won't see it because the telly's gonna go through. Oh my God, he's right. When the fuck did they make that change? I've been playing this game for like 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 eight years or something. When when did they do that? Also, we high rolled. We actually that's surprising that we got him, but um, that it that it hit and it did good damage. But Quicksilver's pretty damn good. But um, yeah, they were trying to basically take all um, for like ten years. It was always that way. Well, I used to do things like uh, back in the you know long long time ago. I would like cast freezing cloud, close a door, not be able to see anything, and it would still do damage. And for a while, you could still do that sort of thing with any kind of summon. Uh, I would, like, summon a bunch of stuff, close a door, leave. Summons a fight off screen. They took that away. Eventually, they even took that away from a line gateway, which violated the rules for a long time, which was my favorite spell, or one of them, for, for that reason. But bolts into the black... Maybe it's just because I haven't played a lot of blaster casters over the years. I just never, um... Huh... It is a it is very rare for me to learn something fundamental and new like that. Um, Eleven years ago. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm an old man then. No, you're probably right. That's uh wow. I'll put it on my resume next time I need a job. Well, thank you, Saffer, for for telling me about that. I I'm convinced it's still not the. I mean, it's a good move. I don't. I'm convinced it wasn't necessarily the. The uh, what do you call it? Like the. I'm sure it was the right turn count turn count move. I'm not sure if it was the right move to, you know, survive, uh, guaranteed. But, uh, nevertheless, that's a really... It's a sapper streak. But I did my thing first. I did what I was going to do, and then I just... I have some turns to kill here until the telly kicks in, so... Uh, you, you gotta, um... You gotta say that about that other game, where... Where I was gonna... I was gonna do something, um... And then just, like sort of for entertainment value, I assessed the audience, uh, and, and then Adort said, oh, use the net, and it's like, yeah, of course I was going to use the net, it's the only resource I had that was useful in the situation, <laughs> and then, uh, what was it, uh, what was his name, uh, Leo Littlebook was like, oh, it's Adort's streak now, like, I mean, what am I going to do, just pretend the audience isn't there, like, obviously I'm the one in the driver's seat, you know, I, I, I ignore audience suggestions all the time, it's like, I always go with my instincts, uh, let's just rest now. Tally kicks in, we end up somewhere good. Explore, explore, explore. Hello. Ooh, hey. Guardian Serpent. Not that spooky if he doesn't have allies, but blink allies encircling, oh my god. What a what a nightmare when he has, like, even a couple of buddies. Especially for a caster with low defense.
These hallways are kind of the bane of a summoner. Oh, let's take a step. Uh, yeah, 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 this is... This is, this is hell. Um... I don't want to use Lightning Spire, it could block my way. There we go. The bolt hits your cactus giant. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna bail until I don't have minus dog anymore. Hey, perfect. So I can just turn the corner if I want to avoid vision. You know, so that's fine. Like, oh no, he's doing big damage to me. Oh, what will I do? Um, and I just step away and he can't see anything. Uh, can he kill me right now? 33 with weapon. He certainly did hit me for a lot of damage. What's he got? He's got a, um... Arbalest. Um, is this 30? See, this is the annoying thing about about this. Max damage, um, 33 with weapon. But, is it... I guess it is referring to the Arbalest. It's whatever's equipped right now, so... Alright, I guess that's fine. Should I believe that? I feel like it's, uh... I don't think... I don't know if that's including this stuff. Maybe I should just use, uh, Beam. Or Meme. Like I used to. Uh, I think I'm just going to reset the fight for safety. I'd like to sit there and let it finish off, but... Uh, that's okay, I took a wrong turn, but... Oh right, I can't walk away from these things and enjoy less attacks. Um, super lame. I've really got to get used to that. We'll use the sack. Uh... No nets will, will show up. Um, what do you do? Uh, 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just flee, please. Just want my HP back, please. Sure, I'm making Saffir tear his hair out with these uh, these turn count inefficient things that I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man, it's just like, it's like a totally different game when you're when you're playing like strictly for win rate. I think that's probably why. Uh, what were you saying that like you thought meteorans were extremely powerful, which which they are to be fair. Um, but like I was I was tearing my hair out, you know, trying to. Trying to do a smooth game with it because I'm I'm just so used to burning countless turns to reset fights over and over and over and over and over and not take risks if I can. Okay, there's my boy. Oh wow, that was a failed cactar. Okay, attack please. Uh, enhance the canine. God, he just really, he just really wants to, he just wants my ass. Um, do I want to chill out here? Luring him back here was not really the play, was it? Um, I'm just going to wait a turn and see what happens. Um. Okay, please, do do your job, Mr. Spire. Okay, maybe not. Um, okay, he bolts the Spire. At least he's not... Uh, you know, at least he's not slamming me with uh, Portal Projectile for the time being. <laughs> Alright, uh... Cactus Giant's not that great. Um, 
versus this dude because the bolts mean that um man that's just not working uh he is just not swinging is he cactus giant misses the naga sharpshooter all right we're gonna quick silver through there we go based Still very scared of these guys. In fact, I'm willing to burn Quicksilver charges to kill him faster. And there it is. There it is. There's the double bolt that I was talking about. Uh, or was that just... No, that was just the electric aura discharge. Um, anytime you hit them, even with a ranged thing, apparently, uh, you will take damage. And then they can also do the bolt at the same time. If you don't have aura lack, it's just, it's just it's just no good. Like, it's just a very dangerous situation to be out here. Um, really what you want is to have high evocations and like a paralysis wand to deal with these guys fast, but otherwise you just have to have more HP, which we don't have. Uh, we could still die, but I'm going to pop up on a heal wounds here. Um, let's see. 13, 26, 39. Um... Burning through resources pretty pretty hard here, um, but we're gonna drink another one. Okay, because remember, I've gotta survive possibly like the same thing again. You know, either like two shocks or or two two bolts or like uh, a bolt and a counterattack or maybe all three. Um, I almost wanna just use allies to deal with all that. Um, Real dog hours right here. But the thing is, now that he's next to me, you see I'm able to do things like block the attacks with my shield. There it is. Oh, there, okay, there's two actions right there. See, um, a bite. He gets the AF shock. Uh, so it's like he gets the shock on top of the bite, and then he also gets a bolt. Like, that's two attacks because he is just faster than me. Um, very powerful enemy, very spooky enemy. Um, probably the most dangerous thing in this branch. Uh, I'm gonna burn my last heal wounds. I would be, by the way, on any other character where I didn't have these extra lives, we would be not burning these lesser resources. We would be burning a blink and just getting the fuck out of here. But again, lives as resources. Um, because of the lack of experience drop when you die, I'm just kind of taking that into account. Um... Uh. I'm trying to remember how much damage um, the shroud does. I think I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna swing. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. It's okay if we need heal ones again. We've got we got potion petitions still. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna pick up silence. Really, the smart play would have just to be to ignore this completely stupid vault. Um, okay, I can. That's fine. That's just a salamander. It's okay. Um, okay, never mind. You wanna you wanna do that? We'll reset. I almost feel like being in felid form would be better for all this, just to evade these uh, things. Although it's it's fairly hard to avoid a portal projectile. I'm pretty sure it attacks with increased accuracy. Heal our boy. Heal our boy again. Have him attack faster. Sharpshooter does not want to take damage. I'll take, I'll take one more hit. It's fine. 
You know what we need to pop out? We need to get Mana Viper online. That's what's up. Mana Viper, unlike the Cactus Giant, will actually be hitting and doing damage to these things. Um, neither of neither of these are particularly, you know, ideal. This character is struggling. I think going down the shapeshifter path was um, it was a big mistake. That's that's always the thing though. Like when you try to transition into transmutations too early, you 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 cause problems for yourself like this. Nice, okay. What did we just find? We found a book. Uh, Blast Modes, Fulminate Prism, and Mystic Blast. Nope. I like when my Spire just, like, decides not to do anything. Very cool. <laughs> For four turns. <laughs> this is, this is like the, I mean, this, I have spent so many turns on this Snake 1 that we're running out of Zot, Zot Timer. It's incredible. Check this out, by the way. Look where it wants me to shock. That's where the default shock location it shows up. It wants it to bounce the. It wants me to bounce the thing into myself. Uh oh. Double uh oh. Uh. Okay, we're gonna kill the spire. Take a step, and we're gonna bail on all this bullshit. I will let my, uh, I, w I suppose I will let my Cactus Man take out the Warrior. He's mited, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to fool with any of this. They are slow, take advantage of that. Good spot, I guess, to... Yeah. Airstrike. I could have pulled him a little more to the right to get more damage, but it's it's fine. Sharpshooter's dead. Happy about that. Um, I'd like to have a cactus for this dude. Maybe the Spire will do its job. Doesn't look like it's particularly doing its job. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Cactus will make short work of it, though. Normally, the shields are really annoying for the, um, you know, sometimes for, like, melee-type type, type characters, including summoners, in fact, but the spikes just kind of bypass all that. Okay, this is, this is okay. This is okay. I'm full HP. Lightning Spire disappears. The Mana Viper, I suppose, can outrun me, but... I don't want to get constricted. Why don't we take a step away, take a step like this, and this is actually a perfect position to to do some work. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and airstrike. It won't do much damage, but it's something to do from this position. Uh, 
bring my imp back. He didn't show up in the right spot. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna uh, keep air striking. We're just gonna wait and we're gonna hope the spire does its job. There we go. Spire is still very strong. Cannot complain, really. Extremely awkward to use now, though. For the most part, it's just another, like, cast spell run away type, type deal. Maybe I did know that bolt thing and I just kind of forgot it. Try to remember. It's been so long. Is that a regular? That's a regular Naga with a short bow. He has dreams and aspirations of becoming a sharpshooter. He's he's actually he's going nuts with his damage. I was about to say, I'm just, I am not going to stick around in the hopes that the Spire keeps attacking properly. I had to break my own Spire to ensure my survival. A Wand of Charming, which doesn't do anything to me. Unless they've changed it to Confuse or something. Why is this floor so big? I severely underestimated how much floor was left. My god. 1600 Zot Timer left. Like, wow. Wrong. I am a snake. I have uh, transitioned from cat to snake. Temporarily. <laughs> yeah, uh, Spire's gone. We have no mail. Let's get out. That boy is wasting all of my damn charges. Okay, Dreadful Rot, which is the horribly nerfed version of the uh, Corpse Rot spell. Dispel Undead, which if I recall correctly, they nerfed so hard that you have to be like right next to somebody to use it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of Agony. Uh, Martyr's Nell, I remember that being weird. I didn't want to use it in Death Channel, which is probably awesome even more so than before because I think you can use it on slimes now. Vaguely tempted to get Death Channel, actually. Um, as much as I don't want to as much as I don't want to add yet another school of crap to learn to my list, um, it's only a level 6 spell. And man, what a... I think you can get Spectral Slimes now, which is just outrageous. I have to check that. Necromancy skills uh, aptitude is 0. Not bad. Not bad. Um, really tempting. Death Channel is just... it's just strong. It remains strong into Extended as well, believe it or not. Do they have they changed it to nerf it at all? Uh, bum, bum, bum. Like perhaps a maximum number of minions? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Wild. Okay. Well, that's a that's a floor. Um, three spell levels left.
Sorry about that. Can you guys hear me now? I seem to have uh, unplugged my microphone. I hope that happened right then and there. Hey, Mazanaka, what's up, man? Yeah, someone, uh, it's very easy to make me stream. Just give me lots of money. Someone gave me a big pile of money to play uh, mainline DCSS. Anyway, yeah, hopefully I was um, silent only for a second there. I, I just, like, nudged my, uh, I, gotta, I gotta fix this damn microphone. Like, something about the cable just makes it want to fall out immediately um, upon, like, breathing on it. Yeah, good to see you, Mazanaka. Let's read this Identify. Redo the streak and B-crawl. Uh, thousands of dollars. <laughs> the entire streak. Thousands of dollars. My god. Uh, that's so many hours. That's like a full-time job. Possibly tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that would take... I mean, if I did, like, full-time work-type hours, I still think it would take, like, a year to do something nutty like that, unless I was speedrunning. There are people who can play this game much faster, but... How much worse is soup these days? It's it's worse. There are a couple of good things in point three one. They all seem to be from the same dev, who is some Johnny-come-lately new guy named Rico Omega. I don't know how they manage to get someone who seems to be vaguely competent into the dev team, but my guess is they'll kick him out sooner than later. Uh, scroll of Butterflies. Okay. It's gonna get yeeted soon. <laughs> Maybe. I hope not. It is time to train dodging. It's been a long time coming. I need defenses. I, in fact, it's insane that I haven't done that yet. I've just been riding the power of uh, summons, which works so well that it like disguises weak play. And the thing is, like, you didn't used to be able to do this. You used to get punished with experience loss by using summons and having them do everything for you. But now that you're not, you can just kind of you can just chill basically and. Just let your summons do everything for you. Anyway, once I have um, once I have a little bit of dodging, this form will become halfway decent. I wasn't gonna finish uh, Snake right now, but oh Christ, and that's the reason why. Right there, there he is. Um, I turn him into shining eye. Ugh. Look at all that. Look at that damage. Look at that double bolt. Unbelievable. We need RLX so badly, it's unreal. Um, I'm gonna fear here. Uh, yeah, I'm fearing. Nope. Nope. Um, I never liked it either. It's just, I think that summons are incredibly powerful and you have to do something and now they don't do anything. So it's just like, you know, the consequences are upon us. Let's go into Swamp. Well, that's, that's really cute that they popped up with a bog body right next to me as soon as I entered. It's very cool. Um, I should have used my Ring of Ice, because I don't have RC, I'm not a, I'm not a cat anymore. Um, full Death by Grandpa speed run. Death by Grandpa? Is that a name of a game? I've never heard of it. Um, I mean, you just, you give me the game and I'll, I'll play it. What if you lost one HP when a summon dies? Uh, I don't think that'd be enough. That would be, I mean, that would certainly do, that's an interesting idea, I'm not going to lie. Um, huh. I don't know. Worth playtesting. 
Oh, oh, no, listen, no, I am really sorry I never got back to that. Um, I, I know I said I would. I played it. You bought it for me. I played it. So I did stream it. Uh, and then I never finished the run. You, you don't have to pay me for that. I, that would not feel right accepting more money for it. Like I, cause I, I said, I said I would eventually finish it. I meant that I will. Um, yeah, no, that I, I accept. I have nothing to say in my defense. Basically. I just, I've just been putting it off. Um, how about I put that, uh, I make that a priority, um, right as soon as this runs over. I'll make, I'll make a note to myself right now, um, Brant, uh, run, I was gonna say game, Brant run, uh, after DCSS. I'm sending that to myself. I put it in all caps, I put the little, uh, I may have actually made it like large text. <laughs> means I'm very serious. Um, I assume at this point you probably want me to just, like, restart, um, because I probably, probably nobody remembers what was going on with it. On the other hand, I mean, I could just watch my own video and, uh, and see. I remember I was trying to play, like, a very stubborn kind of guy. Uh, it's my own personality, and I got, I got beaten to death by my grandpa super, super duper quickly into the run. Well, this is smooth. Maybe I should have been in. Uh, maybe I should have been in swamp the the whole time. I have the right tool set. Jupiter Hell. Uh, what about Jupiter Hell? They had to change the name of that, right? Because it was based on Doom, and they almost got sued. Something like that. Yo, yo, yo! You can pull me now. Since when? Drag defender backwards. I thought it was just Doom RL with a different name. Gamepad support. A Goliath frog. I always see this thing and I think, what in the hell is going on with this tile? Um, like, the, the tongue and the belly jump out at you and then you, you just, like, look at it wrong. Um and you see some kind of weird chaos demon rather than a frog, at least for me. If And then if I look at it for long enough, I can see the frog. A very strange tile. Once you can see the frog, it looks pretty good, I guess, but it really plays tricks on your eyes. Um, okay, he's got reach. He's got reach acid. It's just that thing. Um, you don't see the frog? Yeah, you gotta look at it for like... I can't see it until I look at the bigger version and then I like kind of focus on the red parts and then it comes to me. It's a it's a bad tile. I'm sorry. I think it, it looks particularly bad against the ground of the swamp because that red and that brown are fairly close together and so it kind of blends in and then all you see is the belly and the tongue and you just kind of see this blobby looking like a like a fetus with a bunch of acid coming out. It looks like a goddamn XCOM enemy, you know. Oh man, airstrike would be great here. Instead, I'm just getting owned. It's cool, we use the old sack of spiders. Um, maybe. Maybe that is the way. Is my giant alive? It is. My spire's alive. Okay, give me that. Uh, give me that. My rat dies. Give me another one. Um, only move in four directions. There's less of everything. Mechanics being redone to be a turn-based cover shooter with slow animations. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't realize the game had changed so much. I never played either, so I, I really wouldn't know, but that's interesting, I guess. Not in the way you want. Sometimes interesting is not such a good thing. 
Hello, Swamp Dragon. I don't really fear you. I don't know. Give me a game where I can fight demons and, well, you know, fight demons with a gun. Sounds great. Sounds like a fun game. That's a that's a that's a winning move. In any case. Hey, look, it's a platypus. Actually, it's a bunyip. What do these things do? They they move super fast, but they attack slowly. They do tons of damage. Yeah, three x for 40, 40 each. Um, spooky, spooky. Mm -mm. I need something to make things not uh, approach me so quickly or get shoved back or some kind of bullshit that keeps them locked down. I, I just need BBC, man. Give me give me my damn vile clutch. Give me my vile clutch. I want to start stamping my feet like a toddler. I want Szechuan sauce. I mean, I want vile clutch. You, you keep hearing something completely different. What when I say Val Clutch? What are you What are you saying? <laughs> what are you hearing? BBC. I see. No, I'm saying BVC. It is kind of weird though how like the V sound and the B sound, you can get them confused. Vile clutch. Yeah, it's a little bit. Listen, I have a little bit of an accent. Uh, vile clutch, if you want me to truly enunciate. Um, can't help it. Uh, let's get intelligence. Although, my strength is deceptively low here. Like, it looks like it's high, but that's just from being a spider. Um, mm mm. Foxfires. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. What are those coming from? What are those coming from? Spriggan Druid has Foxfire now? Oh no! Oh no! He has, he has Awakened Forest. Oh no! Oh no, I'm next to forests. Oh no, they're awake! Oh no, he's calling out to the Beast of the Wild! Okay, yeah, that's the enemy. The Will-o'-the-Wisp. He guys does, does that marsh light. Uh, man, I would like to have... I would like to have the forest spell. Uh, I don't have that. Um, boy, oh boy. This look... Yeah, I don't think the Lorax is real pleased with me right now. He, he speaks for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. Um, I'm sick of this goddamn Lorax. Uh, alrighty. This looks like just a wonderful, wonderful candidate for getting the hell away. Big boy damage. Um, can we have stone arrow as well? Let's just drink a curing. Bruh. Drink another curing. There's my telly. Yo, yo, tellied right next to everything, and then, and then yoinked, and then yoinked. I'm being, I'm being cucked right now. Um, that's okay, that's the risk you take when you do a telly. Sometimes the game just says, ha ha, and memes you. You notice I did it when I had full health and not when I had, like, two health, so that bad things like that are not quite so bad, although this is quite, this is quite bad. Uh, you, what's your MR? Your MR is two pips. You, what's your MR? One pip. You, what's your MR? Three pips. Not a good candidate for fear. Uh, range on the harpoon shot is six. Um, I guess like southern-ish, uh, American. I, uh, I am, I am from America. I don't really want to dox myself, of course. Um, but I mean, there are lots of flavors of southern accents, is the thing. Um, but yeah, um, it's sort of hard to identify where I'm, what, what my accent is, because like, 
I didn't uh, get all of it, you know, so to speak. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's bad. It's real bad. We're going to have to burn Blink, or I either need to burn Blink or burn one of my lives. And <sighs> I've been saying, oh, lives are a resource, but I don't think I can... I don't think I can just throw it away. I think this is a burn bling situation. You just got to do it. You got to do it, baby. Um, now, he can yoink my ass right back, but not from that range. Six range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got a couple of... Uh, What's well, probably more like... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So we're good as long as we don't get any closer than this. Um, however... The beauty of swamp is that those uh, the water the water tiles will slow my ass down. Uh, so either I burn a haste, which God knows I don't want to waste that resource if I don't have to, or uh, we use one of these beautiful potions of flight. I mean enlightenment. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Float into the air. Take a little damage, probably. Ba Boom. Okay, I guess the trees are going to leave me the hell alone. That's fine. Good. Uh, whoa! What's happening? Oh, 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 right. Yeah, right. Motherfucker. I forgot about the incredibly stupid, not just attack of opportunity, but attack of opportunity with reach attacks. Uh, Flight never gave you move speed unless you were a Tingu. You are thinking of a superior game called Bee Crawl. Um, and even if it did, I probably wouldn't be outrunning the Goliath Frog, which is 200% uh, swim speed. Reach of opportunity is pretty lame. Yeah, um, it's, you know, I am convinced that they just, I'm going to be honest with you, Attack of Opportunity, the entire goal of it, I mean, part of it is that these people are narcissists and they want to subject people to things that they don't like. Uh, they, I'm convinced they specifically want to put bad mechanics into the game because it gives them, uh, like a sick thrill to, like, sort of say, haha, you have to, you have to play our stupid game, eat the, the crap that we're putting on your plate. But it's not just that. I think they have this sort of obsessive need to try to raise the, the loss rate. Uh, and certainly this will increase the loss rate because people are just not used to this dumb mechanic. Uh, like even me, who, like, with no ego, I can say I am a top tier player, but look how I just got surprised by that. Um, if 5th edition D&D is just like, man, this is why? Anyway, uh, I hate to use my last blank, but I'm gonna. Oh yeah, they're new. No, they're, they're new. Uh, they're, they're new and they continue to get worse over time. All right, I burned two blinks to survive all that. I probably should have just let myself die, get that extra life gone, but, um, Whatever, man. We have more HP now. We have okay defenses. Um, kind of terrible. Things have had a lot of time to move around. Um, I know a lot of rogue lights. L-I-T-E. Can you reach of opportunity? Not me. The player doesn't get any kind of attacks of opportunity. Only, only, only monsters. Not even your ally monsters. Only enemy monsters. There they are. Hey, this is not bad at all. Okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Did we miscast? We miscast the old giant. Alright, let's just melee. Attack at point eight. That's not terrible. They don't care about reciprocity, which is which is the most amazing thing of all to me. It's like a giant middle finger in the face of the player. Um, you know, there's there's so many things in this game that would be a lot less of an insult if they simply allowed the player to do it too. Um, yeah, I I know it's very it's very strange, Santoyo. I I wish I could explain it to you. Um, so much of this game and its development really only makes sense in the context if you if you put a lens in front of it. You look at you look at it through the lens of the devs have behavioral disorders and they want to screw with the players. It, it's the only real explanation for a lot of the things that they do if you look at the stuff that they do sort of as a whole, you know, holistically rather than, um, rather than one little component. Because, like, 
I don't know, it just depends. Uh, wow, I am slow. I don't want to be slow. Catching its breath. Let's get a giant out. Does he not? He doesn't slow my allies anyway. He only slows me. He used to slow everything on the board. They changed that. That's really... That's really interesting. Didn't he used to slow every... Every ally you had as well? Am I, am I having a stroke? Am I remembering that wrong? Anyway, hey, we've uh, we've opened up a door into Lair 5, so that's nice. How vulnerable, how vulnerable am I without Blink Scrolls? I mean, it sucks, but I've still got lots of resources. I got the 8 Tally, I got the 3 Fear, I got the Butterflies, I can do some stuff with that, I guess. Um, I've obviously got lots of Potion Petition, um, which I'm hoarding. Uh, we got some good wands. Um, there are just certain situations that are really scary for me now, but I have the two extra lives. So that'll take me places as well if needs be. I'm just saving those for the last minute. Um, yeah, I I don't think they thought about it, Mazanaka. I really don't. Um, that is that is my. I don't know. It's just hard to. It's really hard to understand what goes on in the mind of a crawl dev. And if you try to question it, if you don't like spend about five minutes telling them how great they are first, they'll assume that you're quote-unquote harassing them, and then they'll call you a troll and, and try to, like, ban you from everything, you know? Try to try to unperson you. Um, it's actually really amazing that they get away with this crap, and I was actually, I was talking about this with someone today, where I was saying that the only reason they get away with this shit is because DCSS is so niche. You know, if it was a bigger game, something like, something like the head dev banning people he personally dislikes from Infobots... Uh, would, it would not fly. People would be like, whoa, this is... What the fuck are you doing? You know? Um, and, like, they wouldn't be able to just sweep it under the rug and pretend like it didn't happen, you know, or isn't still happening or whatever. Uh, it's this little king... Yeah, it's this petty little kingdom. It's amazing. Um, but I'm saying, like, it's it's the... You know, the nicheness of the game insulates them from consequences to their bad behavior. And it's a sad situation, but it's been the case for many years, and it's not going to change until, you know... Well, it's just not going to change, basically. Same crap in every niche hobby. Well, you know, it just attracts these people with really horrendous behavioral disorders, and... You know, it's like... That, that video is like three years old now. Uh, what, did I, what did I call it? Uh, an old, I used an old computer science phrase. Um, I called it DCSS considered harmful. Three years old at this point, things have gotten worse, not better. Um, and I came at that from a political standpoint because that's where I was, you know, that's the reason why I was banned. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I could share all of their stated politics and they would still hate my ass because I don't worship them. You know, like that's the problem with a narcissist is like there is no winning uh, unless you submit yourself to their authority and their fragile little ego. Uh, and there's just, like, there's no getting around that. If you want to retain your dignity, you just can't deal with these people, basically. Uh, because they will, they will try to destroy you at any, you know, by any means necessary if they feel threatened at all. Um, and I don't mean, like, literally threatened. I mean, like, their ego is threatened. Um, no, niche hobbies used to be, I mean, and probably, maybe even to this day, if you find the right guys, like, look at Warhammer, it's just really nerdy dudes who just want to, you know, they just want to set their figurines out and roll about 5,000 dice and, and, you know, imagine some grim dark things happening. But at some point, the powers that be realized that they could use these things uh, as a political sort of platform to, to push whatever weird-ass agendas that they had. And as soon as they did that, I think it opened the door to the useful idiots, so to speak, you know, the spiteful mutants to show up and say, whoa, 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 no one's going to take me serious, no one's going to take me seriously under any normal circumstances, but, you know, if I take over this little subculture, they have to take me seriously, because I can just call them, you know, I can call them some word that ends in ist or whatever, and I can ruin the reputation of this person if they don't do exactly what I want. Um, and so it's like... I'm seriously convinced that most of these people don't even believe the shit that they say. It's just, it's just like a matter of, this is how I gain power over people. You know? Um, yeah, they'll call you a pharmacist. 
Centolio, are you are you speaking Spanish to me again? That what word has a PH? I hope you're ready for the eccentricities of English, where we use PH for an F sound for no reason sometimes. It really should be an F, by the way, you know, phonetically speaking. It's just it's like it's like phone. PH positive. You forget no, no, you're doing it wrong. Don't make me do a voice for you again, I'll do it. Um Man, my defenses are just not good enough to tank elephants, and I wish they were. Do, 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 do. I really need more spells. Um, I really... I really need... Uh, man, my kingdom for summon forest. Um, Mana Viper would be okay. Menagerie... Ooh, Menagerie's available. Not a spell I usually use, but not bad either. Just for the sheer bulk of meat that it brings, uh, just bodies in the way. Although at that point I want the the king, the death channel. Uh, I don't know, I don't think I can turn down Menagerie. <laughs> Do we have amnesia? I need some damn amnesia. At most I have two amnesia right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 27% chance to charm. Sadly, elephants actually have pretty good magic resist. I'm a minus dog right now, baby. Let's uh, let's just swing and see. Uh, two two elephants. Um, into the gungeon stream. Who said I was going to stream into the gungeon? I mean, I could. I should be doing that every weekend because I'm the mod of the Into the Gungeon sub now. Uh, you know what? Just for safety, we're going to preemptively. Whoa, that's a lot of butterflies. Holy fudge! I didn't realize it made so many. That is that is a lot. Um, Okie doke, I'll take that. Butterflies would be a uh, fun MO combo, let me tell you. There should be an enemy that casts the effect of the Immolation Scroll. Truly terrifying. Let's party. Order my spire to attack the uh, Rhyme Drake because I don't want to get frozen. Uh, I could pop up my my ice uh, ring, but I think I'm just gonna try to take him down. All right, he hit me. I didn't take that much damage. It's fine. Oh no, I'm dead. Just kidding. My my training target was reached for dodging. With that plus three aptitude, it was a huge mistake for me not to train that sooner. I think I made a... Uh, no, I haven't said no one. That sounds cute, though. No, yeah, wait. No, yes, I have. I like it. Um, we may end up seeing that today. I think that going shapeshifting was a mistake. At least going shapeshifting this early. I should have just committed to the bit, basically, of being the cat, going straight into summons, and could have had more spell casting. I could have... Um, I could have done a lot of things. I could have gotten into Conjurations, even, and gotten some Blaster Caster going. With shape-shifting, I kind of did this weird thing where I went halfway defense, halfway offense, and that never plays well. Now that's going to even out, and I'm going to become like a combat god very soon. Uh, but there's always this sort of horrendous, awkward period. Uh, transitional period, you might say, uh, where you're just like stuck uh, sucking for a while. Uh, I'm going to take unarmed combat to 10, and then I'm going to think... After that, I'm going to spend a little time thinking about what what to do. What, uh, ba -ba -ba, what talismans are available? Just, just Serpent. That's the other thing. It's like pure uh, crapshoot RNG type stuff to like, oh, which, uh, which, which talismans will I find? You know, so... We could spend the whole game finding no more talismans. Now, am I happy with Serpent Form? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But is it what I want to be in for the rest of the game? I'd rather have something else, you know. But could we, like, O-tab through the game in this thing? Probably. Said the base, said the base damage was 10. That's a lot. I, I don't know how that compares to other forms. Um... Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> I was like, spell, dragon form. It's not a spell anymore, it's a... Uh, dragon blood talisman. Dumb. Um... Base damage 11 for the bite. Yeah, this is... Wow, this is actually really close to dragon form bite damage. That is, um... Right? Didn't it say it was 10? 10 is really good. For for uh, comparison, a troll claw, I think, is plus 6 from the base, so it's 9. And we all know how much damage troll claws do. It's a lot. So we actually have uh, above troll claw base damage here. It's, it's just what they... They just replaced uh, transmutations with it. So it's like a way to... Uh, give people permanent um, forms without bowing to to popular. Because uh, remember, it's all about ego with the crawl devs. They didn't want to bow to the people who have been telling them for years that forms should not expire uh, in the tr in the form of spells, um, and so they just made them not spells anymore, so they could so their egos could handle the uh, man. Transmutations doesn't exist anymore. They they took that away. Um, they they took out all of the shapeshifter forms. You train what you train is you train shapeshifting. What is that? Oh, it's the just another a bomb tile. I don't know if blade hands is a thing anymore. Um, Let's find out together. So they have Beast Talisman, which is definitely not the same thing as the old uh, Beastly Appendage, which is a better spell. Um, Granite Talisman, I assume, is a statue form. Uh, Maw Talisman? Bruh, that's just... That's just the thing from Terraria. That, 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 uh, sprite. Okay, so you eat things and you gain HP. Interesting. It's like the old Hydra form, I guess. Um... You get a mouth on your belly. That's a weird visual. Um, blade talisman. Oh, I'm, I got those boomer eyes again. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, this looks like. Uh, yeah, this looks like this looks like the thing. Um, base damage fifteen. <laughs> oh, sick. The sick base damage fifteen. I didn't realize the base damage of Blade Hands is actually higher than the base damage on Dragon Form, but that that doesn't really surprise me, I guess. Max 23. It goes... Oh, it goes up. It's just all about having that base damage. Okie doke. Okay, no, no, no. UC base damage 12, max 27 for Dragon Form. I was going to say, there's no way. I'm sort of curious about Storm Talisman, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a weird uh, situation. Max 33, it can actually have higher base damage than the dragon form. You become a lightning bolt, I suppose. Um, anyway, let's not uh, let's not get too excited just yet, because the game could just kind of troll me and say, Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, sir. Ha ha ha, sir. Oh, sorry if I just... <laughs> sorry if I made an S sound into my microphone. I know it kind of goes up and uh, brings brings the audio into the red, but... No, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like, it does not give me a talisman. Like, I could... I mean, it's, and it's comical because I found two, but they were the same thing. So it's like, there's there's nothing that says I, I have to get another one. This is not really the case with... I mean, I, I suppose a run could happen where you just don't find forms under the spell system, but it's much less likely. Um, just because of the way the loot tables are. And you can even guarantee it by going Sif Muna or something. Oh yeah, Blade Hands was amazing. Well, let me tell you what I liked about Blade Hands. It's the exact thing that the devs didn't like about Blade Hands. I, I enjoyed the fact that if you were really good at the game and you were willing to play like an absolute madman, you could play a transmuter and you had all the tools you needed to play an entire 15 rune run right there in your book. Because Blade, Blade Hands, you could ride Blade Hands to victory. You're not going to have an easy time. But you are going to have a fun time, um, because your damage is going to be out of control. Like, all the tools you need are right there. And the devs just hate that idea. 
Uh, no, it's not more powerful than Dragon Form. I, I was wrong about that, but it's... Trust me, it's powerful enough. Like, the base, the base damage. Um, the base damage is very high. Um, thing is, the, your unarmed combat is going to raise your base damage as well, right? So, um... Oh, I could actually be getting stealth if I wanted to. Hmm. Hmm. What to train? What to train? Let's take spellcasting to 10. Give me some more spell levels. Um, I want to pick up... Uh, I'm going to buy silence, I think. Bruh, this is great. I've made a little hallway for myself here. They can either attack me... Or they can attack my cactus and uh, take the cactar spines, yeah. Rapier of distortion on a guy that attacks quickly. Oh my god, how horrifying. It's okay, he's dead. Well, that's why my screen flashes. I have the RC file set up. His death, his death was horrifying. Well, I like the ice blast one. I can't complain about that. Uh, does distortion still act as Abyss Express? Uh, I believe it does. Rapiered. I don't want to get rapiered. That's even worse than being. Uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with distortion weapons. I used to be very ass hurt about them, but the truth is, like, if they're if it's melee, you know, you can avoid it. Well, yeah, but that's the thing is, like, it's like a top tier risk. I don't think it's unfair because, like, in, you know, you're you're usually gonna see it in advance before you take the hit, right? So, um, you can't wait. You can't get sent to abyss anymore. It just teleports you. Do, 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 do. Why am I trying to look this up? I will just look at the item. Ba, ba, ba. It warps and distorts space around it. May blink, banish, or inflict extra damage on those it strikes. On wielding it, can teleport you to f teleport you to foes or banish you to the abyss. It says it can banish the people who it strikes. So, what are you? Uh, what you talking about, Senor? Taking a tiny risk there. Um, w do you need to talk to me? Do you need me to mute this? What's up? You need to go to the store. Okay. Have fun. Just lock the door on your way out. Sorry. Um, oh, oh, you're saying you can't avoid it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Okay, you were saying... Yeah, uh, okay, fair enough. That's no good. Um... Well, it's just another thing you don't want to be in melee with. Um, I mean, I would say with the attack of, attacks of opportunity, that does make the situation significantly more annoying. Um, there's no question about that. The hell am I looking at here? A demonic tree, a demonic tree. I do not like this tile. For some reason, it just it looks like an enemy. It doesn't. It doesn't look like a something that's just a tree or a doodad or whatever you want to call it um I'm gonna melee this if he confuses me then whatever hey whatever man we're finally at the point where we can kind of sort of melee things see look at this bullshit come on that looks like an enemy that's just another tree Nice, dude. Are you are you eating well? I can't get enough air fried chicken. It's so good. And air fried potatoes with my breakfast. Oh my god. I don't know if it's just my Polish DNA or or what it is, but I just I cannot get enough. In fact, I I may try to convince my wife to uh even though it's not breakfast, I think I might have her make me some breakfast for for uh what time is it? Yeah, well, I haven't eaten lunch yet, so Lunch, I suppose. 
Oh, you haven't gotten it yet. Uh, listen, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. I, I will be, uh, you know, I will be shocked if you don't have a grand old time with it. Um, by the way, check out this neat little, um, I will say this, as much as I don't like some of these tiles, um, I like this demon forest. They seem to have changed it a bit. Um, I don't know if this is the one with the temple at the end or not, but they've... I like the idea of adding demon trees to it. I don't think these were here before. Um, what's the difference between an air fryer and an oven? I don't want to sound stupid. Uh, frankly, I'm not 100%. The air fryer seems to work a whole lot faster. Um, I think mechanically it has something to do with where the, the heating elements are. Um, meat and potatoes are hard to spoil regardless of the way you cook them. Okay, that's true, but like there's something about that like that crispy skin that you end up with after air frying some potatoes. Just really good. Ooh, I'm breaking my rule. I'm breaking my rule. I'm next to a chaos spawn. Fortunately, my, my lightning spire uh, spared me the... The indignity of being sent to the abyss, possibly from a chaos effect, or paralyzed. You can spoil anything by cooking it with oil. Yeah, if you really wanna, if you really wanna ruin your meal, just uh, just throw a bunch of seed oils on there. Have a grand old time. Dual blaze. I don't remember the brand that I bought. I'd have to look that up. You know, that's funny, that's, I should have gone, like, full shill, um, you know what I mean? And, like, if I'm gonna be talking about my purchases like that, I should be giving you guys Amazon links to the stuff that I buy. Yo, this actually looks really cool. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sold on this now. They've changed it to where, look, it's actual abyss tiles. So it's like it's been, um, it's like it's been corrupted. Am I gonna run into Spooky Boogie or whatever the hell that new unique is where the, the, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that can corrupt tiles. Is that the joke? That it, maybe this is like guaranteed spooky boogie. Um, they're the new demon tree tiles. Some of them I like, like this. I like, do you see how these tiles, these two guys look like normal trees kind of, but lurid colors. I like these way more than these like pan Lord head looking trees and especially just the dried out kind of ones that look like some kind of enemy. But these ones I enjoy quite a lot. The, the, the purple, the red, um, no, this is just the old, this is just the old forest, um, this is not a new vault, so to speak, it's an old vault that's been revamped, I think. We've seen, we've seen the forest before, but usually this is filled with spriggans, and instead we're mostly seeing demons here today. Uh, I just took some damage from a blink frog, and I... Oh, Yanoxinol. Yanoxinol has that iron shot. He could cause me some issues. Um, and oh, you are mited now. That is that is scary. Um, by the way, um, Peebler mentioned uh, I'm never going to see root now. I guess because uh, wand of rooting because we got ice blast. I need that uh, now. I really need vile clutch. Excuse me, vile clutch. I can't, I can't mispronounce. I will be called out. I will be bullied over my slight accent. Um, no, it's good to enunciate, I think. Um, just gonna melee. Thrashing Horror, thankfully, um, targeted the Cactar and got owned by Thorns. Path of Exile for constantly hearing Val Clutch. Val, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You're you're not wrong. That is that is what I'm saying. I'm saying it that way. I don't. It's just my uh, instinct at this point, I guess. Um, is it gonna give me a complex about it? <laughs> uh, this is a little bit scary. I don't want to get Val. Excuse me. I don't want to get iron shotted. Oh, Val is an actual like tribe or something in the game. Yanoxinol is down. Good. I see.
What did we just find? A bunch of gold. Necrotize. I don't care about that. Uh, oh, okay. Altar of Lagonu. That's pretty rare. And a gate to the, uh, to the abyss. That is an actual bona fide death yak. What a, what a great target to, to fight the cactar. <laughs> See you, Mazanaka. Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry, too. Do everything manually. Hey, I, I, uh, I peel the potatoes before I put them in the air fryer. No, that's awesome, though. Please enjoy. I believe, I believe that Mazanaka is a, uh, a fellow man of Slavic descent, so it's, it's in our blood to enjoy potatoes. I believe. Uh... I don't know, you could probably survive on beans and potatoes indefinitely, if you had to. Potatoes for calories and just beans for macros and whatnot. Oh, okay, thank you, Av. Let me get right on that. Normally I wouldn't melee these death yaks or whatever, but I have over 60 HP and they do 30 a pop, so I can't, I can't die, you know, with two of them next to me. It's all right. We're we're kind of sort of at the point where we can just O tab through this crap. We could probably O tab through a single one. I don't know if I want to test that theory, but yeah, we are reasonably strong in the melee department now. All right, guys, let's go into the abyss. Yay! No, just kidding. Um, I don't want to go back into Swamp. Swamp is hell right now. I don't... That's true, I do live in Dusty Ridge, man. I don't I don't want to go back to Swamp uh, right now because the entrance is terrible. I don't really want to go back to Slime because... Or excuse me, go back to uh, Snake because the, the, electric, uh, the electric boys are causing me some issues. Not to mention we still don't have RF. Boo! Um, what to do? 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 I'm obviously not going to go into slime. The game has been very stingy about resistances. It's been good about a lot of things, but not resistances. Um, See you, love worm. See you later. Enchanting elements. Uh... Oh, inner flame. <laughs> we could have gone for real memes and done that, I guess. Okay, we have silence now. Um. Okay. We have silence now, very good. It's not exactly online, but we can get it online really fast. Hex is plus four, I mean, good lord, I can get that to ten just for funsies. Um, very, very quick, that'll happen. Yes, indeed. It almost makes me wanna. It almost makes me wanna see what other hexes are available. Oh yeah, mana viper, of course. Yeah, of course. I want mana viper. So this is. It's fine. Uh. Tuck dance even. Inner flame is there as an option. Um, you know what? 
The answer's staring me in the face. We should just go into Orc. I mean, now that they have finally bent to reason after ten goddamn years and we have the magic resistance potion, there's no good reason for me not to be an Orc. Are you kidding me? Let's just do Orc. It's free. Free. It's free real estate. In fact, I'm just gonna tab. I am so strong. Well, I'm probably not going to tab into Orc Warriors, but I am going to, or excuse me, Orc uh, Knights. <sighs> it's stair dancing time, baby. Gotta watch out for reach weapons. Whoa! Man, that sucks, Elf. Sorry to hear that. I just don't know what it is. Okay. We definitely need something for situations like this. Blink would be the way, but that's not available. Um... Brother, I tell you, I am like... I am tempted to pick up Dispersal, which is really stupid, but... Uh, if it's if it's what's available, it's what's available. Um, okay, that didn't want to work. Um, seem to not want to make the webs, which makes sense. We don't have evokes, so... Uh, I guess we just, we just man mode this thing, man. It's the it's the might that scares me. He can two shot me. Oh, I see. Yeah, you gotta be careful. That can like get into your bones and stuff. That's uh... well. I I, uh, I hope for the best, man. I'll throw a couple of prayers your way if you like. Um, I'll just melee. This is a little spooky, but there's there's not much I can do other than melee. Or I could quaff, I guess. To actually, you know what we could do? Let's let's go let's go wild mode. Boom! Berserk time, baby. 144 HP felid. No problem, man. Anytime. Three long-standing battles at work. Hey, that's always good. Yeah, I don't know how other people do that. I just... I spent some time in traditional employment in the office and I just, I could not handle the petty bullshit like power games and whatnot. It was just like, it was just like a nightmare, I guess, for my personality. I just couldn't do it. I had, I had to find a way to make money more or less on my own um, or else I would have gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get away with that behavior in the workplace. Like, you're you're good at threading the needle. I eventually get frustrated and just, like, turn into an axe-wielding berserker. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, that is to say, I just, uh... I can't, I can't control my tongue sometimes. <laughs> Particularly if I'm upset. Like, it is just... The truth will come spilling from my lips, and people do not like to hear that, let me tell you. Okay, we got a disconnected Orc 1. Uh, we're going to have to come back up. Oh! Perma-shifting mechanic. So instead of spells uh, to change form, what we've got uh, is we find these little talisman items. Um, so it's pretty RNG-heavy as to whether you're going to find the talisman or not. Um, and we're just we're just shifted forever while we're in the form. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like the fact that you can't swap from form to form quickly anymore. Like if I were to evoke another talisman, I would have to spend like five, maybe ten turns unshifting and reshifting, whereas it was instant before. Um, well, not instant, but it, like one turn. Um, anyway, there's an ice cave here. I want to do the ice cave. Um, we got these rings of ice. We'll be just fine. Uh, First things first, 
Well, first things first, he can't paralyze me right now, so we're gonna uh, call up Light and Inspire to get some work done. We got smited, that's okay. Um, he still can't paralyze me because of these beautiful funguses. Um, so I'm not gonna drink the potion yet. This is annoying enough that I'm going to... Oh yeah, we've got a lot. I'm gonna emulate. Oh, I like permaforms. I just think there was a way to do that and keep the spells, you know. Um, permaforms were great, though. Other, But, like, forks have found ways around this already, you know. Well, rapid form swapping might be a bit strong, but I think it's fine. I think that by the time that's a valuable thing to do, you're in the late game, and it's nice to have powerful effects at your disposal, you know. Um, I, I also, I think the most important thing is, like, what is... What is the tactical? Like, what what is the tactical um, development decision here? Like, where where do we give our player the most cool options and things they can do? Yeah, they do. Um, I think both of them ham handle it in similar ways, where your max uh, mana goes down while you're shape shifted. Okay, now there's another one coming from the other side. Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I don't want to get paralyzed. So we're going to drink our Enlightenment. My MR goes up. Two Warlords? Oh wow, 1% Para still. Uh-oh. Um, two Warlords? Hey, yo, come on, man. Okay, the Priest is... Uh, he's abjuring my shit. I forgot that they do that. I can't be next to these things if they explode next to me. It's really bad. So I've got I've got one more chance to blow up that priest before we leave. Uh, Cause I got I just gotta go back up. It is what it is. There's no there's no hanging out on this floor. Sorry. Looks like my magic resistance is fading as well. Um, well, it's obvious what we do. We ice blast. Yeah, what a nightmare. Um, adios, amigos. Alrighty, we may or may not even be able to get to the... Uh... <laughs> you know what? Magic map. Uh, I'm not taking a... I'm not taking a hatch, baby. Today, today we are doing the true hero's choice uh, and digging our way to victory. Hi, pumpkin head Maurice. I liked you better when you were just a dude. Um, it's a neat tile, but I'm not... <laughs> oh, is he like a vine stalker now? Oh, yeah, he's, he turned him into a vine stalker. All right, whatever. Uh, I think, I don't know. I kind of like him better as just a dude. So Joker, he's a smoker. He's a midnight toker. Maybe. I like how my spire just doesn't want to show up in the right spot. It's very cool, baby. It's okay, we'll just step aside and let it do its job. Okay. Had to take that a little bit slowly. I shouldn't be auto-exploring. That portal's still waiting for me, but... Crackle of a melting archway nearby. Orc warrior shouts, you hear a shout, you hear a shout. This is closer than I would like uh, to the disaster area that was all that crap to the north. Um, I'm probably going to end the stream after Orc, by the way. I wanted to get two runes first, but the character's just taken a while. It's been like four hours. It's a pretty solid size stream. Um, and you guys aren't subbing to me, and I'm really mad.
No, I'm just kidding. I can't complain. I already got paid for this run, so... Uh, I am told that sometimes streamers will just, like, spend the whole damn stream begging for money. Which I have... I have tried my best to avoid. <laughs> the entire, uh, for the time that I've been, you know, streaming. Not just today, but, like, in general. How do I want to deal with this? Um... I want to know where the portal is. I don't want to make a beeline for it because I don't want a ton of orcs waiting for me when I come out. Um, I keep looking at this board and thinking, boy, I wish I had the forest spell. I wish I could summon a forest. Assuming that even exists uh, in the game still. It may not. Flame burst would have been good. We could have taken this character in a lot of different directions to have a little more AoE power. Alas, we are... Uh, Kinda of stuck just hoping that Lightning Spire does really good, cool things. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'll tell them all to take out the uh, the knight. Whoops. Misclick. Cobalt Blast Miner. Okay, he's got a bazooka. He does 60 damage. Oh, it's that bomb. It's what it's what replaced Iron Shot. Four range. Okay. Um Well he has to go. Um We'll wait until he has more empty space around him. Oh! He has an Arbalest too. Hmm. Maybe we'll just use flame. I'm not getting much damage out of the out of uh out of airstrike. How do we take down an Orc Warlord under the current situation? Um, we could polymorph him. 27%. Wouldn't it be great if we turned him into a Quicksilver Ooze? Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that just be so good for this run? <laughs> um, well, how about we just uh, very quickly take a look and see where the damn ice cave is. Uh, it's to our right. I could, um, mm, I could, I could emulate. I'm gonna emulate. Yeah, buddy. Um, I, I feel like my instinct is that Cactus Giant just kind of, just kind of beats Warlord in a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, actually, well, on one hand, emulate was a mistake because this is so wide open. On the other hand, I already emulated before, so it's whatever. Um, I think we're just kind of cucked on reaching the ice cave, frankly. If you're, if you're taking horrible risks to try to get it in, get yourself into a portal, probably, probably you are making a mistake in this game. I could take the hatch and really roll the dice, but... Whoa, this is, uh, yeah, this is still surrounded. Steady crackling of the melting archway. Like, I could take a bunch of risks and I could try for it. I could teleport, I could take the hatch, I could do all kinds of shenanigans. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just not worth it to me. Like, yeah, of course I'd like to go in there. Maybe, I don't know, is there like... Talisman of Ice Form or whatever the hell? I guess ice form doesn't exist anymore, huh? So maybe not, but uh, some kind of unique ring with RC plus on it. You amulet with RC plus. I don't really need RC plus, but I am tempted to take this hatch. Actually, I will, and not not because I want to make it to the portal, 
but because I want to, um, huh, okay. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Um, Spire, uh, if a bunch of stuff starts coming, and I mean a lot of stuff, we'll use a kill hole. We've got the, we've got the digging required. I hate to use the dig resource, but what else is it for, you know? On the other hand, kill hole versus warlord, not great. You know what I should have done? I should have memorized inner flame. That's what's up. That is the way. We also could have gotten Mana Viper online. I don't want to do it in the middle of this damn fight, but... <laughs> that would have been that would have been a path and a half, basically. That would have been not bad. Uh... Mm... Well, I mean, a kill hole would still be good. Not... Not a traditional one, but just like a hallway. Just to force the warlord to, um... Yo, I'm gonna use another ammo. I'm gonna use another ammo on this crap. Yeah, um... I'm minus dog right now, that's okay. We're gonna get our, get our imp out. Yo. Yo, yeah, it's MO time. Um, hopefully I don't get imped here. I just want the, I want the sorcerer gone. <laughs> There's nothing cooler in this game. And, and I'm honestly shocked they haven't taken it out because it's so soulful, it's so funny. The gold spraying everywhere when you explode something, uh, and it's a Gozag worshiper. That is probably hands down my favorite thing. My favorite thing in crawl um, is that. It's wonderful, and it's shocking that it's remained in the game for this long. Um, Kill effects are different depending on your weapon and strength. Oh, you mean like the description of them or whatever? Yeah, that's that is good. Um, let's enlighten. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. That's like some that's like some Fallout One type stuff. That's pretty cool. Now we could silence here. And honestly, it might be a good move, because, like, okay, maybe we're mostly immune to Paralyze, but boy, he can do a lot of damage to us still. We have four cancels, so I guess I'll do it. Whoa, did we just, uh, mm, I just, I made, I did that way too fast. I did ZL, because I usually put, I usually put Silence on the L, and I have it on E right now. That muscle memory just never goes away. All those years pass, and it's still there. Can we make it? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> no! Some lacrims. Uh, no, it does not, Alf. Not that I know of. So he absolutely could have uh, memed me there. Although they do, and th this is probably just, uh, it's probably just like me making things up and pattern matching where there's no pattern, but it seems to me it seems to me that they that they are more likely to try to attack you or struggle out of it or whatever um, than cast a spell. Okay, please, please, please charm. Okay, good. I don't want to be dispersed right now. You know, I hate to use my last MO. I want that for slime. I'm sure I could find another, but... Um, 
I should have memorized. <laughs> I should have memorized Inner Flame. That would have been the way to make this truly, truly doable. Um, I think I have to ammo here. I need to get this crap out of the way ASAP, or else I'm not going to be able to. And I and the I'm just scared of dispersal. You know, that's why I want all this crap dead right the hell now. Um. It's all fast as well. It moves quickly, covers ground quickly. Um. <laughs> I'll do it. Come on. No. Ooh, whoa. My nightmare. I, I MO'd nothing died and I got dispersed anyway. This is... It's not the worst, but it's it's not great, let me tell you. Um, this is a job for charm spam. Simulacra have very bad magic resist. He's going to go right back into that thing, isn't he? Yeah, and there it is. Where it stops, nobody knows. Fuck this. Fuck this. Uh, wait a minute, no, when the troll explodes, I'm gonna take... Yeah, that... Oh, it's not big, okay. That's weird. Um, wasn't that a troll simulator? Shouldn't that have been twice the size? I guess because it's not giant. Okay, well that's a start. Um, Alright, let's... Let's flame him, get the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Alright, now can't see you, you don't exist, I don't believe in you, okay, good. Uh, clouds go away. Pop on the old ring of ice right here. Kaboom! We in the ice cave, baby. Not my favorite ice cave, it's a quick ice cave, but it's not exactly where I wanted to be. Uh, right, right immediately after all that crap. Um, Spire... You know, with RC+, Plus, I feel like I'm okay with meleeing against these guys. Now that I think about it. I could burn some more charm, but I, I think I can just... I think I can just melee. I really do. I got a lot of charm, though, so... Just like in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just duke it out. Normally, I'm really, really wary about duking it out with Simulacra, but... Yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Um, it's gotta be charm on him while our Constrict continues to do damage to the guy up there. Hmm. It would be nice, check this out. Wouldn't it be nice if I could order my guys to attack the Death Yak Simulacrum? Whoa! Hey! They changed it! Back in the day, you would melee your own guy, and if he was charmed, he would stop being charmed. Apparently now, you can just, uh... No, no, you can't order to attack, but I can just, I can manually attack, and it's not, it's not turning on me. I wonder when they changed that. I don't know if I like that change. That feels way too easy. That means that means the Charm Wand is effectively better than Paralyze in some ways. Because I think Charm may last longer than Paralyze does. Although, well, it's about the same because Paralyze, you're, you're going to get big attacks on it. But yeah, that's a weird change. That, that really draws the distance between Charm and Paralyze way closer together. Check this out. Look at that. Two Blink Scrolls. Are you kidding me? Wow. Really good. Really, really, really good. Um, we also have Identify. Why don't we identify some stuff? Um, I really want Amnesia, so I'm going to identify my scrolls. Even though I have five stacks of things. Um, oh, three scrolls of Torment. Scrolls of Poison. What does that do? Poison on every unoccupied tile? Yeah, it does. Yeah, there's probably no better feeling in Crawl than when you have no blink and then you find a bunch of blink. 
What's in these books? Can I look from afar? Book of the Spheres. The information on rhyme. I'm going to write a book called The Information on the Crawl Devs. It's going to be about how they're all jerks. <laughs> hey, Fireball's available. I think it's a bit late in the game for me to swap to that, but it's probably worth dipping instead of this awkward kind of like, look at me, I'm getting 10 hexes for no reason type. Uh, well, it's I'm joking. It's not for no reason. I, In fact, we're going to make that reason real now. Uh, Mana Viper. Okay. What am I doing? I don't need seven. Mana Viper's already at one percent. No more, no more hexes. As always, I'm hungry for spell levels. Um, we got the Mana Vipers online. I'd like to get more spell levels to get Inner Fire online because I can do some fun stuff with that. However, we should have a big enough army of crap now that we can just kind of brute force our way through a lot of stuff. Um, I wanted to get translocations. We have, do we have like plus four apt or something on that? Yeah, <laughs> just to get this junction online, but I'm being very greedy. I'm going in every damn direction when I should really just be like focusing on becoming a combat god or something. In fact, why don't we just do that? Let's, let's get real. Let's get real. 15, 15, 15. Let's do the thing. You know the thing. Uh... 15, 15, 15, fighting, unarmed, dodging. That's when you become capable of just strolling through lair branches. Uh, not, it's not a crapshoot. It's not just like, or excuse me, it's not a, it's not like a shooting gallery. You can't just O-tab your way through it. Um, but you become able to, you know, kind of calmly uh, fight one thing at a time. And then there's very little that you can't just kind of eat through as long as you're playing carefully uh, with 15s in your, in your melee stuff. Um, after layer layer branches, then that kind of stops being true, but um, 15s are pretty good. Anyway, um, and we got Mana Viper, so everything's, everything's good. Uh, I got the Ring of Ice. Uh, it's going to be kind of dangerous in here. Hmm, I don't know if I want to do this. Wow, this is, uh, this is actually kind of spooky. Forty-four percent chance to charm the ugly thing. I don't have any fire damage other than that stupid wand of flame, which is just insufficient. Fireball would make this easy. Uh, I, I need to roll up in there and just start. Anyway, I started blasting. Um, I think I'd walk away from here, except I don't know what those scrolls are, and they could be acquirement. They're scrolls I haven't seen yet, so they really could be acquirement. Um, this late in the game. I think I gotta burn a haste for this to be safe, though. Actually, if I wanted to be... <laughs> if I wanted to do the true madman play, I could drink Berserk and then go in. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but it, it is it is really tempting. Um, it is it is so tempting. Uh, how much haste do I have? I have, I have five haste. I'm gonna use one. You don't like my madman play? Well, the problem is it's like, one of them could have dunked freezing clouds on my head, they could have bolted me. I mean, it's, it adds up. It adds up fast. Yeah. It all misses, apparently, but like... Or gets bounced. And like, uh, one of the funny things about Crawl is like... So I, I did all this, right? I hasted and then I came in. And then I'm sitting here fighting this stuff and nothing particularly bad is happening. Um... So it, o it almost looks like I wasted the resource, but someone's going to follow you through a portal. Is that so? Has that always been the case? Well, that's interesting. Well, then I did waste the resource. I could have, uh, hmm. Okay, well that's good to know. Thank you for the heads up. Haste was the still probably like the safest play, but I should have brought bros with me.
God damn, you're right. Has that always been the case, or did I just forget that? I guess I just forget little details like that. The thing Saffir brought up with bolting into the darkness. And now that I think about that, I've been thinking about it for a while now. I did know about that. I had just completely forgotten, because I, I remember using that mechanic way back in the day. Um, it's, like, it's like one of those things you don't, you don't use it all that often outside of turn count running. Um, ever since you've been playing. Yeah, as far as the minion thing, I, I don't know how I forgot that. I must have known it, though. That's, uh... I know enemies will follow you, so I wouldn't summons, you know? They won't follow you through this kind of gate, though, like to a different branch. Anyway, uh, I think that is a wonderful place to stop. We'll finish out uh, Orc next time. I am pretty hungry, and we've been doing this for a while. Um, fun stream again today. Uh... I think the character is still doing very well. Nothing to fear, really. Um, yeah, I will have a feast. Um, you know, it's... Uh, he's, he's like, struggling to kill enemies, I think. Um, to, like, slog through the game. But he's not really in a ton of danger. Um, hey, no problem, prepaid. It's good to see you as well. Um, the dangerous situation in, in uh, Snake was actually pretty nasty with that, with that fire... Uh, Fire Salamander Caster guy. We just we really didn't want to be in there yet, frankly. Uh, and I had made some positioning mistakes with him where I, I should have been, like, shouting or meowing or hissing or whatever uh, before I went back in. Like, I should have known that he probably could have juked me and got behind me. But, um, I mean, all things considered, I, I have been playing a little more recklessly than I normally would because, hey, extra lives. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird that I'm doing that because I'm like saving my extra lives anyway by by using resources but i mean whatever we're doing fine we haven't died everything's good everything's fine everything's good um it'll be kind of funny if we uh if we just make it through the whole game without using an extra life which i i think that i think that's happened on every felid that i've done uh on the streak but um yeah the uh well i think there's only one it was a felid conjurer and I'd, I'd have to go back and look at the video, I don't know. But, um... Or I guess maybe I could check the, uh... Uh, the morgue file, if that's still around. That might have been played on, like, CJR or something, or some server that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Certainly, if it was played on Kelby, that's gonna go away sooner than later, but... Anyway, uh, that is it for the stream. I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed watching. But until next time, I am signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.